ill herself. Hey! And enough of the screaming. Do you want that to overhear us? No, 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 but wait. Oh. Why did he do this now? Why now? Hey? Eh? All of a sudden. Nee, this is strange. My dear. Very strange. My dear, as I speak to you now, my people are asking him the same question. Huh? No one knows the reason behind his action. Hey! You serious? Are you not fight for this a job? Is bad. God forbid bad thing. This is strange. Very strange. I don't understand. How will you understand when he's not even offering an explanation? Exactly. I've never experienced such story, except I witnessed it today. And he's not even saying anything. I think the right question here is, what is wrong with him? Exactly. I mean, for him to have waited till today to do this, something must have come over him. And whatever it is, may God have mercy. He is refusing to say. Jennifer Yabok. What do we call this? What kind of nonsense is this? Huh? Oh, I woke up this morning dressed in my best regalia, left my house to this place for this show of shame. Look at my I have never seen this kind of nonsense before. What about nonsense? Hey! I mean, how can Erunche take so such a decision without offering uh, some sort of uh, explanation? Eh? Do you look like this to him? I have no other. This is the height of insolence. Mabro Nema. This is the height of insolence. His attitude is an affront on our personalities. He puts his fingers in our eyes. All out of here. Ha! If my brother, his father, we are still alive. Huh? You know what I have stood for this? Oh man! Hi! This is impudence of the highest order. Eh? Do you know how long we've been planning for this day? Eh? Hmm. The reason I am still sitting here is because his best friend, uh, uh, Obiago, said he will talk sense into him. Okay. Let's keep on waiting. I'm a boom. Let's keep on. I'm the only thing of the world. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Are you insane? I mean, maybe she, are you out of your mind? You think that this is a decision you can just wake up one morning and take? Who does that? Ebuchi, Ebuchi, please, please, and please, eh? eh? Just, just explain, explain yourself to us now. How can you do this? Now, I go near. Hey, now, what is the problem? Hmm? Talk to us or tell me what is the problem. You know, you can do this, you know it. Hmm? Ebuche. Ready. We have finished all the preparations and yet we are still waiting. Are we safe at all? Of course we're safe. Go back and tell the women to wait a little longer. The day has not ended yet. Okay. If you say so. If you say so. I say so. Okay. Open if you calm down. You worry too much. You disturb yourself too much. See, see beside, if you worry like this, how will your sister feel? They will still be here. 
something is not just right. I smell a rat. How far? Tell me how far is Umoizera from here? Relax. How far? Calm down. Today is not an ordinary day. They are not just coming here for a visit. They have to take their time and prepare. And moreover, the day is not over yet. So just exercise a little patience, my friend. Right. Yes. You will not understand. Both of you will not understand. Seriously asking me that stupid question? Huh? You are supposed to be marrying my sister, you bastard! And so? And so? So because you saw me with a young woman, eh? Automatically you are assuming the worst. Huh? I don't even know who she is. Very stupid. <laughs> Well, I guess that is her way of reminding you who she is. Uh, I don't care. Huh? I, don't, I don't care. I know you have always hated me. I know you have always hated me. In fact, I know you have always hated the idea that your sister and I are being together. Huh? See, if you like, picture anything. If you like, think anything, anything, whatever you want to think, think it. Assume whatever you want to assume. I do not care. Even if I do not care. Ah, and I have my own peace. Because I want to get married to your sister, eh? You will monitor me like monitoring spirit. What, 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 what is that? That's the first way to get married. Is he trying to tell me that I didn't see what I saw? I must go there. If you don't tell me the problem you have with these earrings, I will start shouting for people to come and help me. Okay. Because you are losing it. Okay. Okay. I saw the man in your life walking out of the bush with the woman. That is my problem, the earring. What do you mean? What, what man are you talking about? Wait. Are you talking about my Ebuche? Huh. How many other men do you have in your life? Apart from him. I don't understand all this. Can you explain to me? I'm lost. Good. I saw a bush coming out of the bush. With a young woman laughing. You are both laughing like idiots. Hmm. And then arranging their clothes. And then I approached him. Do you know that this fool denied it before my face? He denied it. So I decided to go into the bush and see what was happening. Uh, what had happened and this is what i found hey wait 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 so what you're trying to tell me is that you did not even catch them in the act you only saw the earrings and then concluded on your own as who the most annoying part is that 
this lady slapped Igbuchi in front of me. She slapped him for trying to deny her. Which lady are you talking about? Wait, is it a tall black girl? Boom. Exactly. Hey! Igbuchi has always told me about how that young lady has been pushing him to get married to her. But he told her that he's practically married. But she wouldn't just listen. She's been pushing. And now, you sew them together. And this miserable earrings. And you jumped into conclusion that they were having something to do with each other. How stupid can you be? It is not like You that. have to stop. For some reasons, only the gods can explain. You have always hated Ebuche for the very first time he set his foot into this compound. You never liked him. But I'll tell you, my brother, I love that man. I love him so much. And whether you like it or not, I am going to get married to him. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, you can Listen, Ibuchi is not being sincere with you. Abia. Look at Uchen now. A noble man from Nnewe. A merchant like me. <laughs> Why don't you give him a chance? Mm. Why don't you marry him? Yes! No one give a call, Abola. No, 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 Let it not be that this Ebuchi has visited a medicine man on my sister's behalf. If all does not go well today, I will kill someone. Huh? Yes, I will kill Ebuchi. <sighs> and it's not just a mere threat. Have to calm down. It's not just a threat. So, what are you people going to do now? Are you asking us what we are going to do? Uh -huh. Hey, what exactly are we supposed to do? Hmm? Tell us now. Tell her the truth, of course. Hey. Seriously. Uh -huh. So you want us to go and tell our friend what happened, Abby? <laughs> tell her the truth, of course. Hey. No, 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 wait. Oh. Hmm. Up now. Hey. Let me ask you. Hmm. Madam, hmm. if you are in Onyekane's shoes right now, how would you expect us to bring this kind of news to you? Answer. answer me. No, 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 don't look answer, away. Answer. Great one. of the separate ground. A great one, I... I said, get out, you unclean woman. Great one, I, I don't understand what... You, I don't know what you're talking about. How dare you? How dare you enter into the sacred abode of the great Anukeni of Umeza now with the fluid of a man in you? That is not true, great one. I am still a virgin. I haven't slept with any man before. Do I look stupid to you? No. Now, leave. Great one. I say go. Great one, please. Do you know why they fear me in Umweza Nam and beyond? No, I don't. It is because I hate repeating myself. Look, woman, when I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed. When I repeat myself, terrible things happen. And I know you will not want that. Now, leave my compound, you unclean woman. And do not return until you get rid 
of your fealty. I mean every word I have said. Now leave. Okay, great one. I will tell you the truth. I will confess. Yes, I slept with a man. He was my first. I fell in love with him the very first time I set my eyes on him. I believed him. Until I met him, I have not been with any man. It doesn't start count. Great one. The mere fact that I gave my body to him because of the love that we have for each other. Does that not count? I can't be tagged as an unclean woman just because I gave my body to the man that I love. Please, great one. Are you married to him? Uh, no. Then, you are unclean. Now leave my compound until you get yourself rid of that field. Go! And do not come back to me. I cannot continue to stay here making a fool of myself. Whatever is it you have for what your marriage plan is getting money. When we are supposed to go and marry a wife for you, she will be renowned with you. Since you are not willing to tell us anything. I am not okay. Hey! Well, I don't think there's any need for me to still remain here. Rubbish. See how wonderfully you're looking on this cap. Hmm? Let's keep on hoping. I believe there is nothing the gods cannot do. That's my belief in whatever I do. Is that not that to be? That's it. He seems to believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. What is going on? He's not ready to talk. So there's no need for me to continue wasting my time. Uh -uh. What is happening? Well, in that case, there is no need for us to be here. Our husbands are leaving. I think we should join them. Same here. I mean, what else are we here for? The child we are here to nurture is dead. Hmm. Exactly. my husband's people here? How come I haven't been called? And why does it seem as if you're hiding something from me? Wait, that, that young woman from Umizora, what has she come to say? Please, I am bothered. Can you start talking to me, please? I, I, I don't even know what to say. No, don't give me that, for you definitely have something to say. Mama, stop talking now. Chukwo Kike. Onyekani, are you panicking because you saw speaking with that young woman from Umezora? Eh? That young woman is my cousin. Ma. Ma, do you have a relative in Umezora? Yes, now. My mother's sister is married there. And the young woman from Umezora happens to be her daughter. Her parents were going for a burial. So they, they, they didn't want to take her along. They told her to stay with us until they return from the trip. And how come I haven't met her? Hey! So you now know my family members, up, yeah? Right. But that does not explain why she was whispering. Why? Onikani, do you ever let things go? But help me now. Eh? Take it easy with me. Today is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. I'm supposed to be getting married today. Things are not moving the way it's supposed to be. What do you expect? Okay, 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 fine, 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 it's enough. Since you want to know, the young man was telling us that she likes a man from this village. 
why, why do I find it very difficult to believe you? Yes, I don't believe you. But you can you panic a lot. It's not like the young man from whom Zora was telling us that your husband has cancelled the marriage. It's so oh. Ma what? what did you just say now? Eh? <laughs> look at her face, look at her face. You need to see yourself right about now. I was only joking. Hey! Kojido Bigaka. Ma, listen, I'm not fine. I, I'm not fine at all. I'm having this strong feeling that something is wrong. Everything is not all right. Don't tell me that. Mm, what you're experiencing is anxiety. And that is because you're getting married today. Uh. Yes, the reason I'm here. To make you take your mind off things. Mm. You've done well. <clears throat> about you and your lover <laughs> have you people tested the waters tested the waters what do you mean have you people have you people gone down gone down where and have you people jumped the bones bones which bones yeah. okay fine have you people danced the mystery dance? <laughs> hey, hey. What are you talking? What dance? What mystery dance are you talking about? <laughs> Have you people done the you know, you know, you know, you know? <laughs> you're so, you're naughty. <laughs> what are you saying? It's not the love of my life. Give me that. <laughs> Mm, that's good though. Yeah. Anyway, I'm coming and let me go and know what is happening there. Hmm? Well, I'll be back. I'll you. Thank you, you too. Hey! <laughs> Please, I'm waiting oh. Hell. If neither of you are going to tell her the truth, who will? Because it's not going to be me. <laughs> See, nobody is telling anybody nothing. Nothing at all. At least not now, now. Not now, please. Eventually, you would have to tell her, you know? Um, maybe. We are not saying that you're wrong. Hmm? The fact... Girls. Are you sure she's not been listening to us? What? 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 Yes, now. And the fact that we've been talking to a lady from Umezura makes it worse. Yeah. And that's my cue. It's time for me to go back to my village. My mission here is complete. Please, don't go yet, please. Please, we just need to find a way to tell Anna. You can't leave us now, please. You can't leave us. Is it still part of my business? Mm -hmm. eh? Look, I did you a favor by bringing the news to you. Now it is left for you as her friends to find a way and break the news to her. I have to go. My mother will still start looking for me. Make no, make no, mabuki. Kia yeti wupa. Make no, make no, mabuki. Obi achu. Cause I'm dancing. Greetings, Sebuche. Greetings. Greetings, Sebuche. Greetings. Am I forgetting something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, can me. Have you forgotten today's Ekemu Zora? Ring a bell. Goodness me. I totally forgot. Forgive me. Uh, my friends and I are supposed to be going to Ekelme Zora today. I'm so sorry. Let me, let me go and get prepared. Sorry. It's okay. Go and get prepared. Eh? Mm -hmm. No need to apologize. Man, no yeah. problem. Okay. Uh, love one thing to... <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, can you? 
You are my friend. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, sit down. Thank you. She told us you proposed. Yes, I did. Good. I'm happy for both of you. Oh, thank you very much. So, when are you coming with your people? I mean, for the introduction. What are you looking at? You are so beautiful. What? Yes. Pardon me. Are you just... Look, I said I'm sorry. I just couldn't help myself. I'm, I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? Ma, I know I shouldn't be saying this, okay? I actually like you. I like you very much. From the very first day I, I, I set my eyes on you, though I was with Oyinka Ne on that day, I just couldn't get you off my mind. I have tried. I, I, I have not been able to get you off my mind. Is this a joke? You were staring at him all my lustfully. Me? That's a lie. I did no such thing. What? I know there is nothing I will say that you will believe. But the truth is, Every day I step my feet on Umuriam. I do so hoping that, you know, that I, 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 I can see you. I can see you and, and possibly tell you this. Are you insane? Ma, Ma, I am sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I know this is not the best time or place. But I am tired. I am tired of pretending. Can I ask you a question? Ah, yes. Anything. Any question you want to ask me, just go ahead and ask. I will answer. If Onye Kanye wasn't in the picture, mm -hmm. he would be with me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Are you trying to say that you are prepared to leave her for me? Yes, that's exactly what I am saying. That's exactly what I have been saying. Wait a minute, Madiche. Is this why you called me out? Or you can you please listen to me? Listen to what? What exactly are you saying? I mean, why are you saying it now? I thought you were all for Ebuche. Why the sudden change of mind? I have pondered over this for days before I made up my mind to tell you about it. You have to listen to me. You have to understand. Unfortunately, you are not making any sense to me. You are not. Okay, fine. Let me make it clear to you. My spirit is against him. Onyekane is not genuine. Madiche. Madiche, what is wrong with you? First, it was my brother. And now, you? You of all people? Oh, Onyekane, please, please. Like I said earlier, you have to listen to what I'm saying. I am your friend and I cannot deceive you. Emuche is not good for you. The highest Emuche will do to you is to sleep with you and move on. He doesn't love you. At least not to last for a lifetime. Please don't tell me that. Don't tell me. What is all this? Emuche is a playboy. He is an unrepentant Casanova. He is not good for any woman. Please. You don't have right to tell me who is good for me or who is not. I am going to pretend that this never happened and walk out of this place because of our friendship. Let it not ever happen again. Please. Emuche, you have to listen to me. I, fine, you have to. 
to listen to me. A nature is not good for you. I am talking to you as a friend. Oh. Madichi. Ma! Did you hear what's calling you since? Where did you go to? Go. I've been thinking. Thinking about what? The fact that I have been proving right once again. I told Onyekani that Ebuchi doesn't love her at all. I told her that Ebuchi will hurt her. But she didn't listen. I kept drumming it into her ears. Oh, girlfriend, this is not the time to abortion blames now. The thing has already been done. Let's just find a way and settle these things now. See, um, Ma. What you're saying might be right. Don't quote me wrong. But Nene, your timing is totally wrong. See, tell her if this is how you choose to present this news to her, I will suggest you keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. That's Don't say anything. Please, oh. But I told her. I told her. Ebuche, please tell me. Why are you doing this? Why did you have to cancel your marriage with Onye Kanne? Right on your marriage day. Why? I blame myself. I blame myself for the whole mess. But in truth, I did not plan it. I did not plan it. Just yesterday, I was with her. I bought her a set of beads because I wanted her to wear it today on her marriage day. I took it to her myself. Then, what, what, what happened? Where did it all go wrong? On, on my way back, I, I met someone. Hello, beautiful. Greetings. Greetings. If I may ask, where is a beautiful damsel headed by this time of the day? Thank the cause I met you. Actually, I am heading to Obubankwa. But it seems I missed my way. Wait. I think I misheard you. You're headed to Obubankwa. By this time of the day. Um... Yes. Why? Excuse me? Well, well I'm, I'm sorry. But if I may ask, if you don't mind me asking, I, 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 I sincerely do not mean to pry. But why is it? I mean, what caused a beautiful damsel like you to be heading to Obubakwa by this time of the day. So I might be a stranger to you, okay? But if you confide in me, I may just be of help to you. Like you rightfully said, that thank the gods that you met me. I don't understand. You've not heard. You don't know. Heard what? Know what? Okay, now let me ask you. What do you know about this place, Obobankwa? According to what I was told, it is just a place where I can lay my head for the night and continue with my journey tomorrow morning. Look, I don't even know you. And I don't know why you're asking me the strange questions about him. I am coming all the way from Maki to Umunsenam in search of a man who will solve my family's problems. Not oh. to answer your questions, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, I didn't leave Aki on time. Hence my arrival to Umuriam late. I was referred to go to Umuankwa because I can get a place of 2,000 naira where I can just lay my head and continue with my journey tomorrow morning. That's why I'm going there. That animal that referred you to Umuankwa, did that animal tell you what happened there? Did he tell you exactly why that place exists? Did he tell you what to expect when you get there? Did he? No. Okay, now let me tell you. 
is a beautiful girl. That place is not a wonderful place. It is not a wonderful place for a beautiful damsel like you to be seen. It is not. What in the God's name are you trying to say? Wait. I am beginning to think that there is more to this place. In what's your right? Now, let me do a little summary of what that place of Bubankwa is all about. Please do. I'm, I'm all ears. All right. You see, in this whole town, in this whole town, if you are a husband and you come back home at night and you have a promiscuous wife and you don't find that woman at home, there's only one place you will find that woman. Obanka could. Now you're with me. And if you are a wife, you have a promiscuous husband, and at night you find out that, that your husband is not on your matrimonial bed, that's only one place you will find that husband. Obanka could. Exactly. Now, you, you're a parent, okay? You're a parent. You have an unemployed daughter that spends, that lavishes money. And, I mean, she cannot provide or, you know, tell you the means she makes that money. That's only one place that money is being made. Let me guess. Same Obubankwa? You see, initially we all thought that prostitution was, was meant for, for ladies, you know, selling their bodies. Until Obubankwa came to existence and proved us all wrong. You see, even men, men from this village and nearby communities go to that place to prostitute to. Sodomy, which we thought was meant for the cities, now happens here in our local villages. I never knew such places existed here. Yes. We were told that Obefi Ilorika brought this, you know, imported girls from Otolobo and brought them. They stay here and do what they call Akonakona. I mean, prostitution. Wait. Otulubo? Yes. That sounds like a village far away. Far, far in the north. It was believed that that was where he learned the business from. I, I don't have any way to go to. That, that means that I'm stranded. You see, a, a, a beautiful young damsel from Aki should not be seen in a place like that, okay? Instead, I, I, I have a spare room. I have a spare room in my house where you can spend the night and first thing in the morning, you can continue your journey peacefully. You, you, you will? You will? Yeah. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. May the God reward you. You say, you say. Thank you for the food. You know, any man who can offer food and drink to a woman who he just met for the very first time is the perfect definition of a gentleman. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm happy with your company. I lost my both parents long ago. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. That's okay. It's been a long time now. So you've been staying alone? Um, actually, I was living here with my uncle until he built his own house. And ever since he has been drumming it in my ears that a man cannot be, you know, in a house alone. I hope you understand what I mean. Of course. <laughs> it means he's expecting you to get married. Exactly. So, um, have you found a... Who? Come off it. For your uncle to say that, I am sure you know what he means. He simply wants you to get married. Or better still, I am sure you're seeing someone by now. So, where is she? 
what if I said, what if I said the person is sitting right here with me? What? You're extremely beautiful. The moons and the stars don't glow like your eyes. Akachua, you're extremely beautiful. Um, Ebuchi, you really need By the gods, you are captivating. Well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying this now. Probably you should be resting. Okay? Yeah? I'm sorry. seen a woman like you. Me too. I have never seen a man like you. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead, my love. When I asked you if you found a woman to marry, you said that. Yes, I know what I said. And I am now convinced that I was right then. This is quite unlike me. Because I feel the same way. Really? What do you mean by really? Why do you think I gave myself to you? Or were you thinking I was sent by Obwe Filirika to make you feel good? No, not at all. Not at all, my love. Even if nothing had happened, I won't think such of you, my love. I won't. Well, good. Because I... I have never done anything like this before. 
I know Omolacham. I know you have never. I can't join. My love. She left for Mwezianam this morning. But then, though she is gone, it's like a part of her is with me. Since morning, I have been reflecting. Reflecting on the incredible, wonderful time we, we had last night. Yes, I, I, I just can't shake it off my system. I can't. She handled me. She handled me like no woman has ever handled me or will ever handle me. Obiago, I love this woman. I have to marry her. Ebuche, you're being extremely ridiculous. Let me, let me ask you something. What makes you think that this woman in question will want to be your wife? What makes you think that? Okay, let me tell you something. A woman who decided to spend the night in Ilurika's place is also an Akurakuna. Yes, a woman who could open herself for you on the first date. A woman who handled you. A woman who handled you the way you described. Without holding back. That woman is useless. Very useless. A useless woman from Aki. Who is sleeping around with whole men experience, get, gathering different kind of experiences. Don't even think of it. Don't even try it. Well, I go, uh, I'm sorry. You better be. She's not that kind of girl. She was merely searching for Mumakwa. Looking for where to spend the night. And talking about she not wanting to marry me. Akantua already said it that she had decided to be my wife. Only if I agree. And that's it. And I love this one. I want to make her my wife. Wait. What? Yes. See, see, I, 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 I know, but you see, I, I, I truly love this woman, and you're my friend, my best friend. That's why I'm telling you all this. I, I, I want you to help me because I cannot do this alone. I can't. You mean to say that you actually cancelled your marriage with that amazing woman that we know for a strange woman that you don't even know? You are twisting it. You don't need to twist this whole thing. You see, I, I, I know her. I know her. Mm. I know her. And despite anything, I go you're my friend. Huh? I want you to come with me to Aki. I, 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 I want to go and look for Akantua and ask her hand in marriage. Please, I want you to be the man from this village that will go with me. Please. The woman you want to marry is in her father's house, waiting for you to come and pay her bride price. Are you going to seek for another woman's hand in marriage? Hey, God forbid if I should be part of that abomination. Ah, please don't do this. Hey, don't do this. If any man in this land, if any man with his right senses should take you to that trip, that disgusting trip, that man is not going to be Obiago. I would be that man. Do you understand? Do you know the kind of woman you want to marry? Do you know the kind of woman Oyekane is? Do you know? Do you know the... Okay, 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 wait. Let me now blow your mind. Do you know the caliber of men standing on line waiting for you to mess up so they will pick Oyekane? They will grab her immediately. And you're here messing up, you're here wasting time. Yeah? Your marriage with her would, would have been long sealed and signed. You see, when you're here wasting your time, you should count yourself lucky that she finally chose to marry you. Now get out. Are you talking to me? Obiago, 
I said, leave my house. Are you insane? What is wrong with you? Oh, yeah, leave my house before I will do something I will leave to regret. Do you know what they say? People don't value what they have until they lose it. And another saying, people always like to eat sweet things. And is that the same sweet thing that kills the body? Just go. Ponder on these words. Thank you. Just go. Go. Hey, me, Konamaka, just allow me to leave. Don't touch me. Go. Idiot. You people went went to prepare a a a for me. Who told you? Who sent you people? Are you the ones going to get married? Blue and white, the worst colors. Think as if it's your, you, 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 you're the one that is going to marry her. My own marriage to you, choose color for me. My daughter. I see fears in your eyes. You are afraid that that same thing that has been happening to your family members will happen to you. Every member of your family has had their share in the dilemma. And you are afraid you are next. Yes, you are right, Ichi. I do not want to die. That is why I am here. You are a Chie Omachiani, the great man of Aki. Something in me tells me that you have the solution. You can help me with this particular problem. I can imagine a young woman as beautiful as you are suddenly running mad. Though, you are not drunk, but you are nest. If nothing is done, it will happen. Ichi, please, what do I do? <clears throat> your, your father killed a man from Umezanam. What? Oh, yes. How? When? The widow of that man reported the case to Odumi Wele, the deity of Anam people, before she finally died. This is very serious. Yes. Serious indeed. You see, people may joke with anything they see, but they should not joke with deities. And if you want to survive this horror that is coming your way, you have to travel. You travel to Umezanam. When you reach there, ask of Ankeni. He is the only one that can solve your problem. The faster you go there, the better for you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, who are you? My name is Anadwaka. I was coming to give Anukeni a message and I overheard your discussion with him. If he does not want to help you, I know someone that can. What? Yes. See, someone that can give you a solution to your problem. See, this is much better than Anukeni. You have to travel. You travel to Umezanam. 
When you reach there, ask of Anukeni. He is the only one that can solve your problem. The faster you go there, the better for you. Thank you very much. But I do not need your help. See, are you listening to me at all? I see, the person will give you a solution to your problem. Yes, I am listening to you and I can hear you. But I do not need your help. And please, if you do not mind, I have a lot on my mind right now. You see, someone that can help you out. Can this define young woman? She thinks Anu Kenji can help her. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. If for you to Luna, I call you with it. If for you to Luna, I call you with it. So don't blame me. Tumba, 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 tumba. Tumba, 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 tumba. Nobody knows Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, where is that friend of mine? He just stepped out. When? Where? Um, his uncle sent for him. But it's not been long he left. I'm sure he will soon come back. But why don't you stay back for lunch? I'm making something very nice. You'll like it. Uh, if you insist, who am I to say? I no? insist. I You'll like it. it. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Uh, you're welcome. What? Um, a prince must not leave the house without his regalia. Yeah? Uh, no, my prince. He's just that. You've not seen one do it before. Oh, come on. My prince, where are your guards? Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, look, truth is, I did not want anyone in the house to know where I was going. So I sneaked out of the house. I didn't even want any villager to notice me. Hence, my dressing up like this. <laughs> but most importantly, I wanted to see you. Who? Oh, me? Um, actually, I initially wanted to go to your house. But a good friend of mine told me you were here. Oh. So I came. Uh, okay, um, you're welcome. Um, can uh, you come and sit? Let me help you with the food on fire. All oh, right. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, 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 my prince, I hope all is well. Yes, my dear. I just, um, I brought you a little something. Oh. I was with my grandmother yesterday when she took delivery of them. And you were the only one that came to my mind, so I was sort of telling her about you. So about me? Yes, my dear. You see, I, I know this is not the right place or the right time either, but I really need to take my chances again. You see, I care so much about you, and I know you've made it clear to me that you don't want to be with me. But you were the only person that came to my mind as soon as I saw these beads. You see, I... I know you too well to know that you are a priceless jewel. A rare gem. You can't be replaced. I am ready to marry you here and now if you could say yes to me. <laughs> no, my prince. I mean, you're quite welcome. But I'm sorry. My heart yearns for someone else. It belongs to another. And has he proposed to you? Well, not yet, but he, I... He doesn't know what he has. I'll be on my way now. I don't want to be missed at home. I really wish you'd have everything. Wait, my prince, wait. My prince, 
You were a good man. And I don't mean to reject your gift. And I probably don't mean to make you feel that I'm toying with you. Please, you, you, you have to take this alongside with you. The gods will give you a woman who truly deserves you. Please. You can give her this gift. I don't need it. Thank you. I hope he realizes what he has before it's too late. What else? He has come to do what every other young man except Ebuchi has refused to do. He, he came to ask for my hand in marriage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell me something, Oviago. Is your friend Ebuchi ever going to make me his wife? Um. Ebuche might be my very best friend, and you've also been very dear to me. But I am going to tell you this, and who I'm talking about is somebody I know very well, Ebuche. Eh? You are a very good woman, and you deserve the best. And the question is this. Do you take Ebuche as your best? If you do, then why don't you let him know your mind? I took his advice. And I did just that. Marriage, marriage, marriage. What is it with women and marriage? Huh? Okay. I will eventually marry you. Is that okay by you? What did you just say? Eventually. Okay. I'll, I'll marry you. <laughs> Stop. 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 Just pray. I don't change my mind. Just pray. Look at you. What did you just say? Come on, I was only kidding. No, this joke is expensive. I was just joking. It's okay. Mm. It's okay, huh? Everything somebody will beg you first. Oh, you have to beg me. Do not play with my heart for the song I sing. It came from my heart. Oh, Onyekane, please, please. Like I said earlier, you have to listen to what I'm saying. I am your friend and I cannot deceive you. Ebuche is not good for you. The highest Ebuche will do to you is to sleep with you and move on. He doesn't love you. Please. At least not to last for a lifetime. Cause I'm dancing in the rain in pain. Do you feel my heart? Dancing in the rain in pain. I am dancing in the rain in pain. Do you feel my heart? Dancing in the rain in pain. I got it for your yam and I have to look up. For your yam and I have to look up. Please, 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 please. You stood right in the front of the elders and told them that I cannot be with the love of my life. You made them understand that the man, the only man your sister has ever loved, is not suitable for her. What have I ever done to you, Ekunife? What? Are you going to please? Please what? You're so selfish. You are self-centered. What is wrong with you? Okay, you don't like him. You have so many reservations about him. But I've chosen him for myself. 
despite his shortcomings, his mistakes and faults, I have chosen him. And guess what? He chose me too. What is wrong with you? Do you think I don't have blemishes? Eh? Please. You have to listen to me. No, you listen to me. It is either you suck it up or you let us be. Oh yes, if that is what you want, I'm going to remain here in my father's house and become your wife. I'm just coming from Ichi Otondo's house. I have given him my consent to the marriage. What? Yes. Listen, you are my only sister. And I love you very much. And if you say Ebuche, is your happiness. Who am I? <coughs> I will not stand against it. <laughs> Something terrible must have gone wrong in Umo Ezera. And we are going to find out what it is. Even if uh, I suggest we send delegates. They send delegates. You are right. Exactly, that is what I am thinking too. Who do the second? Is he not from Umeziora? Um, oh, we need to talk, please. What is going on? In private. Um, greetings, everyone. You're welcome. Please, in private, please. We need to talk. Did you see that? I, I I saw his face. I suspected something. Did you see the reaction on his face? What could be the problem? How would I have known? <sighs> something is wrong. I think so, but we will find out eventually. We will find out. Then you start talking now. Ebuche is not coming. I I I I, I can't get. Uh, can you just? Rephrase that thing you just said now. Ebuche is not coming for any marriage ceremony. He has cancelled marriage with your sister. He's not coming. He's not marrying your sister anymore. Uh, I, I see. Then, thank you very much for granting us the courtesy of coming to inform us yourself. Thank you. But you know, I was never in support of his action. You, you know that. I, I know. I think you can start leaving now. But please, you have to go to the back. Okay? I don't want you to get noticed while you are leaving. People might start having some different impressions. I want to unveil the news to them myself. It's okay. Understood. One more thing. Tell Ebuche that no matter where he runs to, no matter where he goes, he cannot hide from me. I will find him and I will kill him for this. Obi, we are getting married tomorrow. You are not supposed to be here. Well, let's just say I couldn't wait for that long. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank and you. And you know how to say sweetest of things to me. <laughs> so, and I... I... I got 
Saturday days. Oh. And I want you to wear them tomorrow. Of course I will wear them. It's so beautiful. Very beautiful. I'll wear them for you tomorrow. Thank okay. you so much, darling. <laughs> Thank you so much, my love. You're welcome, my wife. Your wife? Yes, my wife. You don't know how sweet that sounds, my <laughs> husband. My wife. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, I'm so, I'm super delighted. Thank you so much. You don't know I'm how happy I... you love it. Hi. Brother of mine, when did you come back? Let's say so long enough that I saw it all. Mm. <laughs> my man. Oh, my merchant in law. <laughs> I can see you brought my sister a gift. Yes. My wife, you mean? No, not yet. Till tomorrow. Um, she will be my wife by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I know we all agree to make this marriage a low-key one. But I think I've got something off my sleeve. So, I'll say this. Invite all your friends. Huh? Make sure all your friends are present because I am going to kill a fat ram for you. Oh, <laughs> my brother, you are the best in the whole world. Of course I know. Thank you. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I am really grateful. If you hurt my sister, I will kill you. She's in safe hands. Don't trust me. I truly love her. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fine. Yes. I love anticipate tomorrow then. <laughs> it's okay. Tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Tumba, 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 I'm so sorry. So, sorry. Am I even going on the right road? You're not from this village, are you? No, I'm not. Are you alright? No, I'm I'm not oh, alright. Sorry, sorry, it's alright. I still can't explain why I opened myself so fast to a man that I was just seeing for the first time. Life is a misery. If only we can explain why we do things we do most of the time. I've been asking myself several questions. Lots of them. Anyways, then the gods he met me because I, I happen to know the solution to your problem. What do you mean? I mean, how, how do you mean? Ever used alligator pepper on yourself before? No. Why would I do that? It is the only thing that can cleanse up this immolarity from your body. <laughs> An Anu King will see me? Exactly. Come. Come, let me show you. Oh. Stand up. Let's go, come. So, can I help you? You did the right thing. Excuse me? Ditching Unyekani is the best decision you have ever made. Whoa! You mean you're the only one that has said that to me the whole of today? And I'm so excited! 
You see, a credible man of Umwezira, like you, shouldn't be going to other villages in search of a wife. Not when you have women like me here. I think there's a misunderstanding here. I did not ditch Oyinkane, as you said, uh, because I want to get married to a woman from here. No. I ditched Oyinkane because I found a woman I want to get married to. And I am sorry to inform you that that woman is not from here. She's from Aki. What? You, you didn't just say that. I did. I said so. And I'm sure you heard me right. You see, she, 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 she was here last night. She spent the night here. And you know what? She handled me. She handled me like no woman has ever handled me. And no woman can ever handle me. That is how she handled me. And you see that woman? I am going to look for her and I'm going to make her my wife. That is a reason I cancelled that marriage. Are you for real? Or it's something you made up to scare me away? I swear by the gods of this land, I am telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. And I think you have overstayed your welcome here. You lascivious and deplorable bastard! You will die a shameful death! That's how you people go around scattering people's life. You won't get me on that. Are you sure you don't want me to stay back? It's okay. No. You don't have to. I need to tell her myself. Really? It's okay anyway. If you say so. But in case you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Of course I do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You have to take good care of her. I will. All right. See you. Thank you. What's going on? What is it? Please, you, you need to sit. Really. Is there a problem? Why is everyone leaving? Just take a seat. You don't tell me to sit. You tell me what is happening. What is wrong? Eh? Wait. <laughs> is he not coming? Eh? He's not coming. Um, please, you just calm down, okay? Don't get yourself walked up. Calm down. <laughs> Life is hard. But we do our best to leave it. Sometimes it gets really tough. So tough that one would think that she is not tough enough to keep going through it. But that is the time that we should remind ourselves that the only valuable solution is getting through it. Tough times never last. But tough people do. My life does not revolve around Ebuche. I will take whatever it is that has happened today to be my faith and I'm ready to move on. Nam, 
that is much better than me in providing solutions to problems. Uh, 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 great ones, I... Listen. I, it is only a fool that put his tongue in a burning fire. It is only a fool that falls into destruction with his hands. That young woman, that young woman, you do not know what brought her into this land. Stay clear from her. Had this man finally become a spirit? Did he get to know about a private discussion I had with a young woman along the road? How? Hi. Gemma, what are you doing? Miss me. Excuse me. Considering the fact that you chose to marry her instead of me, should have given me a heads up when you decided to leave her. Or better still, call me. I didn't call you. I just to tell you that I didn't want you back. So why not just leave? Sorry, I don't get. It didn't matter what we shared was mostly in secret. In fact, on the bush. So permit me to say what we shared on the bush and then in the bush. Are you just saying all this to make me feel bad? Maybe you're bad. You're already bad. So please, why not just get out of my house? What? Okay, now, listen. Maybe I've not made it clear to you, but let me break it down for you, okay? It is over. It is over between us, all right? I said this bushel thing, it's over, all right? It's over between us. You don't know me, I don't know you. You shameless and abominable son of a cursed family. I, Ijima, who bent my life in making yours miserable. Trust me. How? Oh. All because I don't want you back. I have become abominable. Right? Good. Stand here and invent more memes to call me. Invent them. But you know what is not going to change the fact that I have taken you and, and the bush. We did it in the bush. So, you already counted amongst the taken. And nothing is going to change that. <laughs> I still cannot believe this. That boy disgraced us. Well, considering the fact that uh, Ekunife did announce his uh, humanizing attitude from the beginning, uh, we should still have expected exactly this from him. Uh, the two Kunife later consented to the marriage. Yes. But having given it a thought, I think he did that just to impress his, his sister who was bent on marrying that bastard. Bastard indeed. Can you imagine the amount of food we wasted today? You're talking about food. What about drinks? Let us not talk about, uh, about uh, uh, money. Hi. Hey. Hey, well. Do you know by this time tomorrow, our family will be famous in this time for a place that such a thing happened in. Hey, everybody will be talking about us. And my niece, Onyekane, will become an object of discussion. Hey. See that boy? See that boy? He needs to be taught a lesson. Exactly. He needs to be taught a lesson so that he will feel our pain. Ah! Please, pack in the place. Let's, let's yeah, go to bed. That's my husband. Hey. Hey.
honestly, I do not like your mood this morning. What do you mean? And what do you know about moods? I'm almost done with breakfast. Why don't you sit behind and eat? Well, uh, I'll eat when I get back. <sighs> what is happening here? Are you coming? How are you? I'm fine. Am I forgetting something? Anyway, here, yeah, I have um, roasted plantain and umbaka. Specially prepared for you by my mom. Oh, mm? yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so thank you. much. You're welcome. And here I have uba and obiloko sent for my mom. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have here with me a bachancha. Sent over by my mom. Oh, Madiche. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this gesture. Thank you. <laughs> I hope there's no problem. Onikane, something terrible happened to you yesterday. My dear, it's okay to grieve. <sighs> no, huh? I'm fine. Listen, my wonderful friends, trust me, I am very fine. Ebuche has made his choice, but I have moved on. I am not going to kill myself. Yes, <laughs> nevertheless, that will not stop me from enjoying this awesome daily cases you brought me this morning. Thank you so much. Um, I will set the table. You will eat with me, right? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be right back. Thank you. Ma, are you sure she's okay? I don't even understand that again. Yeah! I guess, I guess, he needs some more. This bastard! Hey, stop, it. stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What is the problem? Stop! I know you're doing this for your sister. But if you kill him, your sister is going to be angry with you. Do you understand? Stop it! There's something they call karma. There's something they call faith. There's something they call personality. They are going to judge us all! He killed my sister the moment he hurt her. There's more! I am! Stop it! Stop! You learn Stop it! Stop it! What's wrong with you? What's your problem? future never appear before me with the fluid of a man in you. I mean a man that is not your husband. Okay, great one. And I am sorry for even daring. It won't happen again. Sit. It will take time. Madness runs in your family. I am a messenger of the gods. The moment you step your feet into this compound, I knew what you want. Yes, you were right, great one. Madness runs in my family. Good. Your father died from madness when he was possessed by a strange spirit. He set himself ablaze. Your mother also died of madness. 
she saw water, pool of water beneath Nemba, the hill of Aki. Yes, you were right, great one. She told people that she saw a pool of water. But they were laughing at her. People told her that there was no water. But she insisted. She took off and admitted to dive into the pool. But ended up crashing herself to death. For there was no pool of water. Your brothers all died in mysterious circumstances. And that is when you started asking questions. In search of solutions. That is why you are here. Yes, great one. I am sure you know your father killed a man of this land. The widow reported him to the deity of this land. Will you have to appease? Yes, I do. Good. There's a little problem. The only way you can appear before Dumiwele, the deity of this land, is to come with a man. Are you serious, great one? You mean I cannot solve this problem alone? Yes. You have to come with a man. Either your husband, your fiancé, or one of your relations. Not a friend. A woman cannot stand before Dumiwele and talk. Hey, you have to do that urgently. There is no time. And when I say there is no time, I mean there is no time left. But great one, I am not married. And besides, Udumi really has succeeded in wiping away all the male members in my family. There is a solution. There is another way out. Tell me about it. You have to be Uluwalose, the wife of the deity. What? If you accept to be the wife of Odumi Wele, he will not kill you because he will not kill his wife. My dear, I feel so bad for Nikane. <laughs> My dear, I can imagine how she feels. Same here. I mean, of all the days for a man to leave you, where on the day of one's marriage? I've never seen wickedness so defined. I wonder what she will be doing right now. Funny enough, I heard she came to the community borehole this morning to fresh water. And people also said she was smiling and greeting everybody. Thank you for coming yesterday. Really? Wow. I'm a fan of her fortitude. If she's taking it so well. <laughs> oh. She could be hiding her uh, sorrows and frustration. Whichever way, I understand how it feels to be rejected by the one you love. Oh. Yes. <coughs> and I bet she could be at home now, crying out her frustration. Oh, what a poor girl. I feel for her. Chai. So I had to get jilted on my marriage day just to have this kind of fun. Onyekane, you're behaving strange. How do you mean? How? No normal being in your shoes will react the way you're just doing now. In my shoes? Are you even listening to us? What would you have me do? Oh, I get it now. So I'm supposed to have hanged myself? No. No. So what do you want me to do? Tell me. I should live up my whole life in agony simply because a man refused that he wasn't going to marry me. Never. I would do no such thing. I loved Ebuche sincerely. No strange attached. So for him to have decided that he doesn't want to marry me is his own loss. Is his own loss and not mine. I am very fine. Love is a very sincere thing. Very sincere and unconditional. So... He has just thrown away his lifetime opportunity to be happy. I am very fine, please. I'm fine. 
Abubankwa, right? Deny it. You're coming from Abubankwa. Unako, is that supposed to be a greeting? A wife should greet her husband who just returned home. Returned home from where? Returned home from where? You left this house since yesterday night and you're coming in now and you want me to greet you. Tell me what is good about the greeting? Eh? Unako, Unako, you are a mad woman. And two uh, people do not want at the same time. Deny it, Deny it! Now you're not coming from Obama. Let me tell you, one day all those disgusting girls will give you an incurable disease that even a real female Rika will not be able to cure. Like my words, when that day happens, I will leave you. Like my words, you will not be able to cure. Like my words, you will not be You are indeed a lucky man. Any more of those punches, you would have been a dead man. <sighs> Glory be to God. That's all I can say. The injection I've given him will help dissolve the blood that has congealed in some part of his body where he has internal wounds. I'll be back in the evening to give him another one. In two or three days' time, he should be back on his feet. Oh, my brother, thank you very much for coming in this short time. It's all right. It's my job as the only chemist in this village. Um, I'll take my leave now. If there is any more problems, don't hesitate to call me. Okay, I will. Let him have some rest. Thank you. Thank you. Go well. Yeah. Mm hmm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If not for you and Ekunife, you would have been a dead man by now. Eva. Sorry, sorry. of money because this king is not cheap to maintain. Mm. I am not afraid to pay anything. Why can you see him the money you may go? Oh, more like that, more like that. See, in that case, eh. you just said to me that I will work out so that you can enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's no problem. Please, <laughs> good. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Tell me, Sarah, how am I supposed to become a wife to a date? I, I can't do it. 
I can't even see myself doing it. I'd rather kill myself. Don't say that. You won't kill yourself. Ah, and no one is marrying to any date either. Because they're going to go back to Chio Machiani and ask him to accompany you to go and appease the deity. Mm. After it was one that, that referred you to Moezanam the first place. <coughs> Why didn't I think about this? Oh, wow. Oh, Saram, you are a lifesaver. Thank you. Thank you. No, I, I mean, if you hadn't sent me to Ichiyo Machiani's place in the first place, I wouldn't have found out the truth about my family. <laughs> what are friends for? To be your brain when you're emotionally and physically drained. I know. But trust me. Lots of people who parade themselves as friends, they don't even know this. <laughs> I will forever appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you. Don't think of killing yourself again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Today, did I not tell you that she went to Oman to visit a friend? What friend? Which compound? When she left this house yesterday, was she with this bag? I'm asking you, EJ, go inside. See, if you make one step further inside this house, somebody will die. Yes. What is your problem, Papa EJ? You are looking for trouble. Leave this girl alone. What is it? Eh? Let, so. let me have that bag. Don't give it to me. Don't try me, oh. Don't try me. Let me have the bag. Hey. How did you get all this? She brought that for me. I'm not asking you, Okwan, your honor. I said, how did you get all this? Papa, I put them for Mama. You bought them for Mama? Very good. EJ, let's go inside. Who gave you the money to buy all this? I'm asking you! Who gave you the money to buy it? EJ, please let's go inside. Eh, let's go inside. That's why you, what you always say. Let's go inside. You know the soup. Let's go inside and we'll come outside. Fine. Adiche, where are you coming from? Hey, Mama, I told you I was going to sleep over at uh, Monekani's house. That was not what you told me. And you told me you were going to visit. <laughs> Mama, you did not understand what I told you because I can see you're beginning to grow wings. Uh -uh. That's enough. Eh? What? Nine. Ah. The young woman is just coming home. Let her get, go, go inside and freshen up before interrogating her. Are you a police officer? I am a police officer. Then you should be in an in, in, in interrogating room and not in my house. Nine. Let me go. I said that is enough. I'm going now because I am not eating this food again. Eat oh, your food. Better. The food I was even complaining that is not enough for me. Go in
welcome, Obuifi. Surprised to see me. <laughs> Honestly, I do not know why you're here. But sincerely, I have never expected a visit from you. By that, you mean you are not going to tell Obuefi who visited to sit? No, sit down. Thank you. Um, if it's my brother you're looking for, then he's not around. He just went out. Oh, come on. Not at all. I have actually come to see you. Me? Yes. Okay, I'm listening. No, I, I can't tell you why I'm here, why I am sitting and you are standing. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you see, uh, when the news of your marital disaster came to me, I felt uh, obliged to come and show my heartfelt sympathy. Oh. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. Oh, thank you. And also to offer you a way to help and better your life. Change your life for good. I don't understand. A way to better my life? You see, you are one beautiful woman uh, in this village and even in the entire kingdom. That every noble man, noble young man in this kingdom has at the tip of his tongue. Hmm. And why is that? Can you, when next you go to the stream, stand over the water and have a good look at your reflection, then you would know why. You see, word around town is that uh, your beauty is not just Skin deep. Your beauty has something to do with other forces that we don't see. That mm. makes you extraordinary. Mm. Now that that rascal, that stupid boy who was supposed to get married to you uh, made a total fool of himself. Or the king, I know. He do. They want you to be his queen. Are you serious? Yeah. Imagine how much you will be making if you were to work for me. Eh? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? I mean, what did you just say? My dear, calm down. Imagine, just look at yourself as an employee of Abu Obobankwa. Eh? Only the kings and great men will be your clients. Excuse me? Biao, 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 chapa. You sound as if it is an insult. It's a very big insult. Very, very grievous one. And I won't take it. Listen to me. You know you are a very special woman. That was why you were able to take behind you, I mean to put behind you what happened between, between you and that rascal. Mm. Tomorrow is big. Tomorrow. Is very big. Obabangwa is that tomorrow. Listen, just come, make up your mind and come to me. Come and work for me. I will connect you to men who will tell you, who will, who will show you how to make a woman good and treat her well. With respect. With due respect, Wifi. <laughs> Calm down, okay? Don't just be in a hurry to give me your response now. I just want you to have your time and uh, ponder over the ponder on the offer I just made you. No, there's no Listen, Kanye. Listen. I am not just going to make you a wealthy woman. But I will also make you a happy woman. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to ponder over. I am going to give you my response straight away. I am not interested in whatsoever you are about to give to me. I am not interested. Please, before you came here, I was about going to cook. Yes, cook, cook. You see, <laughs> I have even forgotten. You reminded me what I have already forgotten. And you are a wonderful cook. Oh. You are a wonderful cook. 
your friends have already confirmed that. See, uh, if you come to me, I will even arrange that those men, they will pay to eat what you cook. Oh, boy, if you, oh, boy, if you have overstayed your welcome, please. Get up and leave. Are you asking me out of here? If you do not leave here right away, I am going to rip off my clothes and shout rape. Well, Is something wrong with you? I forgive you because I can see you are still grieving. Please leave my house. In case you make up your mind. I want to leave. 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 Okay. Oh. Hey. He from Fukage. Useless man. <laughs> There's no need crying over spilled milk, okay? Let me tell you. You can just get yourself another cup, uh, probably prepare a fresh one for yourself. Look at you. As beautiful as you are. You are just practically wasting away in this village, in fact, and in this entire kingdom. I can bet you, you can't even remember when last you were meant to feel like a real woman. When I mean feel like a woman. <laughs> I mean, look at it. The whole of your body. Your whole body being touched, caressed, romanced. Are you understanding me? Listen, I have men in my place who can do anything with your body. Are you understanding me? They can do what that your so-called husband could not do for you. In case there is no man that can handle you that way. Listen, I can handle you myself. Don't you dare come near me. Fool. Maggot. <laughs> I just want to help you. <laughs> You know where to find me if you have a change of mind, my love. You know where to find me. Omofi <laughs> Hirorika is waiting for you. You know where to find me. I'm waiting. If you know, what is my business now? I will leave her. I will leave her. After I'm even, I was even trying to help her to see what I can do to, to better her life. And she's just messing up. Eh? She's, she, she was just messing up. Uh -huh. You sleepy maggot. I was just on my way to that your cost place. Yes. Hmm? On your way to my place? Yes. Did you need to come all the way from Mbezoha to do this? Yes. Because. I want you to call off whatever business you have with my daughter. You are so heartless. I want to ask you, if she were to be your daughter, will you make her an employee of a bank? Ah! Look at you. You think I don't know you? No. You think I don't know everything about you? You think I don't know your movements in the dark, in the day? I know everything about you now. Listen to me. Instead of all this, your crew carry whatever movement, Nicodemus movement. Why not come to Obobangwa, Ebane Diego? Are you understanding me? Your wife would not know. Your daughter too would not know. I have no idea what you are talking about. Let me tell you, I want you to take off your clothes off my daughter. Eh? Because if you don't, <laughs> you will be hearing from me. <laughs> 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 Why not come? Your place is there. Men that started like you, they started by shouting, but they are there today enjoying themselves. <laughs> I will see you there. <laughs> Husband, you're back. Welcome. 
I did uh, not see you when I came back. When you came back? Uh, remind me, where did you go? I told you I'm spending the night at my mother's. Uh, 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 Amaka, I am not senile. I have a good memory. What you told me yesterday was that you were going to the market. No, that's not what I said. Ichi, I have no family member left. No male, no female. Odumi really has succeeded in wiping every one of them. Please, if only you can come with me. I would really appreciate it. I would be so grateful to you, please. My daughter. I wish I could, but I can't. I can't. Because uh, me, well, I will only listen to your family member. And I am not a member of your family. I'm sure there is a man out there asking for your hand in marriage. Why are you shaking your head? Don't you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you are saying, Ichi. But I am shaking my head because I do not have any fiance nor any man. You mean, as beautiful as you are, you have no... Then, you will settle for the second option. Which is? Marry Madam Iwele. I see. Oh yes, because that is the only option. Odumi Iwele will never kill his wife. Iche, is there no other option? That is the only option, my daughter. Ekunife, what is it? Why are you blocking my way? <laughs> oh, is it because of the useless charm you have in your pocket? Now, Ekunife, let me tell you. Go back to that naughty doctor that prepared that useless thing I'm looking at in your pocket. Go and tell him that I, Ubuifile Rika, I am mightier and bigger then that's useless it's other in your pocket okay now you should listen to me i was heading to your house to warn you but good thing i met you here stay away from my sister hey, Erica, stay away from my sister whatever useless business idea you have to share with her she's not interested <laughs> hey, Erica. The next time you set foot in my compound, I swear by the gods, that will be the last time you use your feet. Stay away from my sister. I won't warn you again. You see, Ekulife, you are talking, and I was just busy looking at you. Maybe you don't know now, let me tell you. Your sister's value as a woman diminished the very moment she was rejected on her marriage day. I was only trying to offer her a way to better her life. What did you say? <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> now, let me repeat. I said that your sister's value as a woman Diminished the very moment. Hey, you understand me? She was rejected. <gasps> hey! Wait, 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 w
I honestly do not know how to present this, but the truth is that I am so surprised with what you have been doing. I don't know exactly what I'm doing that is surprising you, my dear. Your errand boy was here yesterday with the well-prepared bush meat you asked him to bring. And it was so strange to me because it was prepared exactly the way I like it. And now you're here? I'm surprised. You don't need to be. That's just my only true way of saying, please forgive me for not being there for you when you needed me most. Your brother wanted you to be left alone. I know. You have been forgiven. Onyekene, how are you? I am fine. I am even fine more than I expected to be. I'm perfect. Onyekene. But I just said I'm fine. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Unless you want me to tell you that I'm not fine so that you can go out and get me more bushmeat. Somebody will die in my hands in this village. Everybody's just provoking me. Ah, ah. Agini. What is wrong? Is my sister the only girl in this village? The one that I how to arrest. Everybody wants my sister. Until I kill somebody before they arrest. How? What nonsense. God of my forefathers. Ebunife! Why did you just hang? Is that not the charm you said they use in fighting? Ebunife, you've been fighting! No. Who is in your Rika? Huh? Who is in your Rika to make advances at my sister? That man is very lucky I didn't kill him. He's very lucky. Wait, just, just calm down. You said the, 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 the bastard did what? Ha! Huh. I told you I handled this. I told you to let it go, but you wouldn't just listen. So you went with a charm to fight because of this? What is wrong with you? And I also told him. I also told him that the next time he steps his foot in this compound will be his last. Who is that man to speak to you in the first place? He deserves not to leave. Oh, please, enough! Enough of all this! What is wrong with you? Ekunif, I'm standing right here in front of you. You should stop picking fights because of me. It is not advisable. Besides, I'm no longer a child. You should stop it already. See, that man needs to be killed. You're supposed to kill him. You know, now that you are saying it, all I feel is regret. Huh. I regret not killing him. Oh my goodness. Just kill. Both of you obviously do not know what you're doing. You don't have to kill anyone because of me. Huh. You don't have to fight anyone because of me. I am loudly it for you to hear now. Let it get into your head. I have warned you. Cut off his head. Go just kill him one one hand, everybody will make rest. Just, just, just kill him. You! Let him be on. Huh? I, I don't understand. What kind of question is that? Great one. Who marries me for real? I mean, who has the responsibility to always make love to me if I eventually get married to the deity? I am asking this important question because I know the gods cannot. Well, truth is, no one in particular. Be rest assured, or do we really will raise men who are obedient to make you happy? Great one. Don't you think that is so? Horrible. For a young woman like me, how am I supposed to cope with all that?
I heard you were beaten. But I never knew it was as serious as this. One day you are lucky to have survived. I will deal with him. I will deal with him. I will deal with him. I'm telling you. And I'm serious. You will deal with Ekunife for what? On what grounds? On what basis? In case you have forgotten, let me quickly remind you that you cheated his sister on your marriage day. I mean, put yourself in his position. You would have done the same. I would have done the same. I'm speaking about the, the girl. See, I'm, I'm still wondering. I mean, she has not come to query me over what happened. I hope she's still alive. <laughs> Is that your wish for her? I'm just asking. You want her dead? Now, I have an information about her. She has gotten over you completely. In fact, she moved on immediately as if you never really existed. Are you serious? How possible is it? How it is possible is that she showed you in clear language that she belongs in a class far beyond your comprehension. In fact, I am a fan of her now. Yes. If not for anything, but at least for not allowing your stupidity to affect her. Actually, whose side are you on? Whose side? Ebushe. This is not a matter of taking sides. Far from it. You understand? What you did to that girl, I wouldn't wish it on my enemy. But the part that you refuse to turn up on her marriage day, even after visiting the preceding day with an expensive bid, tells me that you purposely planned to frustrate her. And like I said, she refused to be frustrated and has moved on. And I'm a fan. <laughs> Achebe, leave my house. Unbelievable! You have overstayed your welcome. Leave my house. Who does that? I do it. And I'm still doing it. And I'm doing it right now. So I say, leave my house. You ask me, Achebe, out of your house? I said, Achebe, leave my house. Stand up and leave. Go. Go to the side you, you, you are supporting. Go, leave my house. Okay, I will leave. Is you una wa waka wala? The truth they said is bitter. Go 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 away with your truth. Who does that? Come to think of it, did she really love me in any way? Did she? Was she in love with me. What is it now? Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Mama, see the money I made. EJ. Yes. You made this money in one night. Mama, there was no crowd yesterday now. Otherwise, this is nothing. EJ, come, come, come. I hope you are being careful. Very careful now. Very, very careful, Mama. I trust you, my daughter. And you always know what to do. Quickly, go and hide this money before the father gets back. Yes. Hi. I didn't see you coming last night. Where did you spend the night? Oh, <laughs> Papa, I spent the night at Onye Kane's house. 
Hey, Chief Zafa. You are the chief advisor to the king. We are here to inform you that we will burn that place down without mercy. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That place called Obankwa is evil and must be set on fire. Mm -hmm. It is a departure from the norms we are known for. Who mm -hmm. issue beats my imagination? Does it mean that men of this kingdom can no longer have their wives to themselves? Okay. Just because of this particular place? Okay. Do you know the one that breaks my heart? It's about our children. No. Our sons and daughters. Whenever they go out, we will always carry this fear in our hearts that they are heading for Bwankwa. Okay. Nobody can distinguish between the wrong and right anymore. Okay. It's here. We have to wreck that place. I get why you all down. <clears throat> no. Eh? It's easy, yeah. What's again? It, it sounds like you just said no. Yes. I did not say it in a wrong way. Huh? Obubankwa is the only place where all the sexually transmitted diseases are cured. <laughs> hey, Chimo. It's easy, yeah. Let me also remind you of that. The so-called sexually transmitted diseases came into this, our community, in the first place, as a result of places like Wabubankwa. So what we are saying is that we are going to burn that place down and it will burn to ashes. So, whether you like it or not. No, we are not known for taking loss into our hands. As for that place, the gods are watching. Yeah. If what he has established is evil, the gods will kill him and close down the place. Oh, I don't like this at all. Honestly, I do not like the sound of this at all. It's your question. You have been quiet since you came here. Please say something and, and help us out of this. I see the end of Abu Bangwa. <laughs> But it's not going to be by our hands. Yeah. I also see the new beginning, which is going to come at an unexpected time. So let us let's let, let the gods take the lead. <laughs> Jesus is a winner man, a winner man all the time. <laughs> it's a, Naya, you see this business? It's the business I mastered all the way from Otsuko. I got it from Otsuko. <laughs> <laughs> Women are the nurturers of life. We cannot do without them. I agree. <laughs> I agree 100 percent. You see, life is completely meaningless to Tato. Women. And I must add, a man that has money eh, and cannot do anything with, with women. No one knows the value of the money. Because women give value to money. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. when I came back from Otsuko and decided to set up this joint, I was afraid. Afraid of what? what? I thought our people would not understand this. <laughs> you made it more flourishing uh, by the herbs and the for me green dooms that you cook to flush out all the nonsense. <laughs> and you know, when men are strong and healthy. <laughs> Can I tell you something? I'm listening. My master that taught me this business, uh, he told me something. What is that? He said, a man will only live long if he sleeps with more than one woman. 
Oh, and you're looking younger. Okay. You won't sleep with more than five. <laughs> so, so, according to him, he said, well, why are you looking at me like this? I said, sir, because I don't understand. He said, okay. Occasionally, it is good for a man to go elsewhere with another woman to play. <laughs> you <laughs> mean that? You mean that way too? Eh? Our uh, women will seriously look against you mm -hmm. if they discover what you are teaching you. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. If I am the master. I am the master when it comes to this game. Okay. Yes. Uh, you know, forget about women group or whatever. No, uh, don't deal with women on group. No. You understand me? Now, listen to me. If you look at now, you understand me? That is why I made it possible that left this one will come, another one will come and go, this one will come. So nobody knows what each other is doing. So I deal with them individually, not group. I see. Uh, you, you understand by still you my queen and be venerable. Greeting <laughs> <laughs> men of our land. Amaka. <laughs> <laughs> Go to room 14 there. Go to that room, room 14. Go and wait for me. You <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm with men here. Yeah. <laughs> and he, you are going to make plenty money. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. The other day, that boy, CJ, on point. He was there, right, man. That's on back. <laughs> <laughs> My pants and dollars. How <laughs> much? I don't think we should continue to do this in the open. We could get caught. How much? I don't know why you're always afraid of over nothing. We are in a practically, we were practically in the middle of nowhere, and nobody saw us. I am just saying, Obamba would have been a better place. No, 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 no. That place is completely out of the question. Ah. I wonder why you hate that place. We are practically doing the same thing they do at Obamba. You see, Obubankwa? Obubankwa is a filthy place, and people who go there are a bunch of fools. I would rather trade my respect doing with doing it with you in the open place than to go to Bubankwa. Shooty, you said. Yes. As in you consider yourself clean and innocent because we come into the incompleted building and do the same thing they do at Bubankwa. My pants and dollars. Eh? The difference is very clear. Have uh, you not seen the difference? Did you see anybody when we were doing that? Did anybody see us? The difference is, don't you see the style? That's how we do it. What is it that troubles my friend? Since you came here, your face has been like this. Talk to me. What is it? Utondo. Eh? I think my daughter has started paying visits. Talk to Eh? Your daughter? Ah, no, 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 no. It's not possible. Don't tell me that. That is what I kept telling myself until I just realized that I was lying to myself. How do you mean? My DJ has started sleeping out lately. And when we ask, she will say she slept at Onyekane's house. I believe her until two days ago when I ran into Ekunife. I was going to give him a message to my daughter when he gets home. Only for him to tell me that neither he nor his sister has set eyes on Madiche after the aborted marriage. Where would she have been? Ubuifi is Odo. Ubuifi, you and I know that Ekunife is a merchant. He is hardly at home. So, I am of every opinion that this, that information is not authentic. Yes. You have a point there, Ichi Otondo. But as at the moment I was speaking to him, my daughter was supposed to be at the house because he was just coming from there. So how come? 
Uh, yes, yes, but then, uh, did you bother asking her where exactly she was? Did you? Utondo, why are you asking me all these questions? As if you don't believe me or what? If it's not as if I do not believe you, I do. But I know your daughter. I know your daughter very well. I am also aware that Wifi uh, Lerika uh, has been talking some loose women into coming to his place to sell their bodies. Uh, your daughter that you and I know cannot condescend so low as to listen to that fool, Wifi uh, Do you know what? She usually leaves by this time. Oh, oh, Wifi, don't do anything stupid. The gods blessed you with a good daughter. Don't kill her in anger. I won't. Thank you. Hey. This girl. I've always wanted this girl to always cover up her tracks. But you don't listen. Now the ma this man has started suspecting her. Someone is following me. Could it be Mama? <gasps> oh my goodness, I have to change direction.
Could you be that? Even if the lights tell you. Gods, where have you been? No one has seen you for the past few days. <laughs> I've been around. It's just that my, my mother, uh, my grandmother has been ill, so my mother asked me to stay with her. Oh, I'm sorry about that. How is she now? We thank the gods. She's getting better. <laughs> uh, why are you behaving like this? Are you alright? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am fine. I am, I'm very fine. My, I was running an errand for my mother when I remembered I haven't seen your beautiful face. So I, I, I dropped by. I'll have to be on my way now. Hmm? Fine. I'll see you fine. later. Uh... Mama, you're going to the backyard. <laughs> Onye Kane, we live in a kingdom where we have too many roads. Eh? Today happens to be my backyard day. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Something like this. Eh? That you went to the market to get new jewelries for the occasion. I did not see what you like. Is that why you're feeling this way? It's not like I'm feeling bad, Mboroma. You know, it's always very demoralizing 
to desire something, yet you can't find it. Even when you have the money. Where and where did you search for it? Everywhere. Virtually everywhere in the market. I searched and searched and I couldn't find what I wanted. How do you want me to be happy? Calm oh, down no. now. Who is on this? I don't know. Bakasim Biko. Is that not someone I'm hearing? Who is on this? Are you expecting anyone? Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who are you and how may I help you? My name is Ebuche. I'm from Umuzora. Okay. I saw you at the market earlier today in search of jewelries. And I know a little about jewelries. So, so I decided to get them for you. I hope you like them. I, I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Um, I, I know you needed them, so I decided to bring them. Besides, a friend of mine um, deal on this. So it wasn't difficult for me to get them. May the gods bless you. You see. Uh, but wait, how did you locate here? Okay, I, I saw you called the woman you had a fallout at the market today. Call her by her first name. So I, 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 I knew both of you knew each other. I went to her, asked her, and she gave me the directions to this place. Anyway, I forgive her. I knew it. <laughs> I, I knew it. I was right about you. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Uh, when I saw you earlier today at the market, I, I, mean, I, I, I got so attracted to you. Uh, not, not in a wrong note. Uh, I see. Uh, yes, you see, you're a beautiful woman. And every man, including me, would want to have you. Is that why you're here? You see, I, I, I just want to be friends with you, okay? I, I just want to be um, friends with you, and I know how to take good care of a woman. Okay, fine. Um, how much did you get the beads so I can quickly go in and get the money for well, you? Like I said earlier, I didn't spend anything in getting the beads. It's a gift. Like I told you earlier, my friend deals on jewelry, so it wasn't difficult for me to get it. What are you saying? These are very expensive beads. I know. But it didn't cost me anything to get it. They're just gifts to you. If you say so. Thank you so much. And may the gods replenish you. I see. What have I done? How could I have given myself to a man? when I'm not even sure if he loves me genuinely like he claims. Gods of my land, please, let it not be that I've made the worst mistake of my life. What's going on in your mind? Uh, nothing. Um, <laughs> nothing. I hope you don't have any regrets. No, I, I don't. Good. See, if I don't love you, I wouldn't have done what I did. What? Yes, I wouldn't have done it. And thank you very much. You, thank you for making me the luckiest man on earth. You love me? I love you.
Do you know you are a very stupid human being? If you are a fool at this age, you will remain a fool forever. Nine. Uh, who, who is in my? Who is your father? Do you think that after the stupid stunt you pulled on your marriage day, that I, Ichie, Ademora, will follow you to what? Go all the way to uh, uh, Aki to see for another young woman's hand in marriage? You are a fool. Nai, please. Nai, I am begging you. Nai, no matter what, you are the one I see and call father. I am begging you, Nai. Miko, I am begging you. I see you, I see a fool. Obiche, has it ever occurred to you that you are the only one left in your father's lineage? No. Has it ever occurred to you that if you fail to bear a son, that your father's lineage is gone. Now that is why I am pleading with you. I am pleading with you to accompany me. Accompany me to go and marry this, this beautiful young woman that will bear me sons and daughters. And I am telling you that I am not following you to anywhere. If you think that that one of Aki is the one you will marry, then the decent one you have decided to frustrate, then go alone. I will not follow you to anywhere. Count me out. Count me out. Uh, so you mean she has been sleeping in your house? Yes, Nai. Ma, why didn't you tell us the truth? I, I, I was afraid. I thought you wouldn't approve of my spending nights in another village. Mamban, it is all for good. Eh? You were doing this because you want to learn a craft. Mm. You could have told us the truth instead of using Onyekane's compound as cover. I never knew she had interest in this. Yes, so Mama, she does and she learns very fast. My mother is a professional in beads making. Oh, my I daughter. See. Why have you decided to open up to us now? Mama, um, yesterday, Ma confided in my mother, telling her you haven't been away of a visit to our house, so she asked me to come tell you the truth. Your mother is a very good woman. Thank you, Mama. I have to be on my way now. It's a mama. You just came to my house for the first time. <laughs> and you are living without taking a collar. Ah, Papa. Maybe next time. I have some area to run for my mother. Emma, please see your friend up. Thank you, ma'am. My greetings to your parents. Yes, mama. Come, let's go. <laughs> I can't believe she was so afraid to tell us the truth. We thank the gods for Mama Ijemma. At least we have a child that is learning a craft. I owe you my... my life! Don't mention because as in me, I can't believe I'm this good at deception. I can't even believe myself. I look at the way I was giving them my line and everything seems so professional. <laughs> I have to start going, you know. Business awaits me. You know this night, eh? This night is gonna be hot. Oh, give me hot. Yeah. So. Oh, give me <laughs> you come out now. Yes, fine. Now. Mm -hmm. I will make you. Yes. <laughs> It's all right. I understand. I will see you later in the evening. Mm. All right. Mm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are you not Sichi Omachiani, the great seer of Aki? That's me. Oh. Okaramu, okaramu. Oh, Ichi. It's an honor. Please, come on, have a seat, please. Thanks. I bring a message to you from the gods. A message from the gods? Am I still safe? Odiago, 
The gods want to know why you are holding back. Holding back? That feeling you've had in your heart, why have you not done anything about it? Feeling? Maybe when I'm gone, you understand what I've just said. Ichi, please explain to me so I can understand. Obiago, you are wasting a lot of time. There is a reason you are feeling that way. So, act on it. And you have to act fast. The opportunity is here. Seize the opportunity. Do not play with my heart. For the song I sing, it came from my heart. What? What did he just say to me? When last did you see me in your place? The day of my marriage. And how did I live? Angrily. And have you seen me in your house since then? Nope. Do you know why? Um, probably you were angry, that's it. Close, but not quite. Ebuchi, we stopped being friends the moment I left your house. What? Because I was angry with you. I would probably forgive you now that you've come to beg. And maybe consider following you to a key. But the fact that you are sitting in my shop now is making me feel murderous. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Ibuchi, are you not ashamed of yourself? You had a one night stand on the eve of your marriage. And you called it off because of that. You called your marriage off because of that. Now, instead of you to take your time, to think about your miserable life and where it all went wrong you are here looking for who will accompany you in search of the other woman i'm sorry my very good friend i'm really sorry but i think you rather switched in a very dangerous way you are the dangerous one here and you have to leave my shop now Leave my shop! If you don't leave, someone will die. And if you don't see, you don't leave! Just one night stand, your head change. I'm an Indo. Sorry, eh? Uh, uh, Utondo. Eh? I do not know what I will call this. You see the pain? I find it very difficult to urinate. I have constant headache and diarrhea. It's Yoko. <laughs> sorry, eh? Sorry, sorry. Uh, have you started receiving treatment? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, the chemist. <laughs> the chemist was here just this morning. Who is talking about chemist? When I asked, if you have started receiving treatment, I mean from Obu Filo Erika. Obu Filo Erika? Yes. Why would I tell him about my sickness? When it comes to administering potent herbal medicine mm -hmm. that is capable of killing every manner of sexually transmitted diseases and sicknesses, Obu Filo Erika is the best. Uh, really? Sorry, yes. <laughs> It is believed he learned the act of healing from the northern town of Otrupo, where he equally learned the business that is going on at Obamba. I, I never knew it. You didn't tell me. Uh, now, now you know. Prepare. Let us go to Obamba now. Mm. Prepare. Mm. Uh, don't mention my name. How do you mean? Oh, my dear, uh, you see, uh, let me tell you, sexually transmitted disease is no longer as dangerous as it used to be. No, 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 no. Hey, no, calm down. Take. Listen, calm down. 
you will take it one shot in the morning mm -hmm. afternoon and night short okay but okay. you will purge and also you will frequently in after two days you will be fine can i start drinking it no 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 don't be in a hurry you need to eat well first because it's a very strong medicine you thank you let me go and buy him food uh, please do you must not pass through this kind of thing cool down you see this treatment you will be fine down there you will look like a small boy down there eh? okay so but please don't forget morning afternoon and night short okay Amalita. Amalita. How are you? Go? Eh? How are you? I'm fine. Um, I went to your house to check on you and your brother told me that you went to Obala village to see a family friend. My brother told you that? And you followed me up. For what exactly? Nothing. I'm just checking on you. I, I thought we were friends, so I we're not friends anymore. Why are you trailing me? Obiago, why? Or did Ebuche send you to find out how I'm suffering? Why must you suspect me with a thing like that? Why won't I suspect you with a thing like that? You are not my father. Neither are you my brother. So you have no obligation whatsoever to take care of me. Why are you here? Okay, um, Onikane, I am here because I care about you. Yes, I care about you so much, more than you can ever think of. Hebuche hurts you, yes, but that doesn't mean we are no, more, we are no longer friends. Huh? Onikane, I am here to show you that I care about you. I'm not here to mock you, yes, or to laugh at you, but I'm here to tell you how much I care about you. I know you're good at putting up fronts, but you cannot fool me. We are matured. You cannot fool me. I know you're hot and deep inside. Eh? I know you're not, you're not spinning yourself all this while. So allow me, allow me to, to take care of you. Do not play with my heart. Oh? No For the song I sing, it came from my heart. What I, I still can't believe you followed me home. I did not follow you home, my dear, but I brought you home. Really? As if I'm drunk, or I'm a little child that cannot find a way home. I did not say you're a little child, but you've become a project to me. Making you not just comfortable, but... Making you happy has become my task. Hmm. I'm, I'm so surprised you're saying all this. True. Anyway, I have already explained myself to you. Only can I see. I just want you to make up your mind because you'll be seeing more of me these days. Really? Anyway, no problem. You just have to sit down. Let me get you food to it. I know you're very hungry. For the song I sing, it came from my heart. What I killed in the building, what I killed in the building. you're not saying anything. Ebuche, you remember what you did to me on your traditional marriage day? What did I do? Oh, you really can't remember. Okay, I will remind you. Is there anybody here? Who lives here? Ebuche. Amasen, to what do I owe this early morning visit? Today is your traditional marriage, and you are still asleep. Anyway, you are going to sopan when I hear. Well, Amasen, I don't need them anymore. Fresh pan wine 
is the oil that lubricates marriage. So why would a man that want to go and get married not need fresh pan wine? Because I have cancelled the marriage. <sighs> you need to wash your face because you sound like you are still asleep. No, I, I don't. No, you need to wash your face. I don't. Amasani, there is something in Akini that is more superior than me getting married to any woman in this village today. And that is why the marriage is cancelled. So you can just live with your kegs of my wine. Ebuja, you can't be serious. I mean, do you know what it took me to bring these gallons of pawine here? You can't be serious. Uh, I'm sorry, but you just have to live with them because I don't need them anymore. The marriage is cancelled. Please. You showed me that day that you are the son of evil. Master, please don't be mad at me. Please, I, I am truly sorry. Don't, don't be mad at me. You know, it beats me that after what you did to me, you still have the guts to come to my compound and request for a of pan wine that you take back here. I'm not saying I'll pay you anything. I am ready to pay you anything. If don't. you like, pay me your internal organs. You will not get, not even a cup of pan wine from this compound. Master, please now. Please. You I'm begging you. Take you. If you don't leave my compound now, I will take a revenge on you. Um, I'm, 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 get out! Get out! Uh, 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 I'll uh, 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 pay you. Get out! Leave! Nonsense! It's a pity how much of a disgrace to the entire men folk that you have become. Okay, um, Onikane, I am here because I care about you. Yes, I care about you so much, more than you can ever think of. Hebuche hurts you, yes, but that doesn't mean we are no, more, we are no longer friends. Huh? Uh, Onikane, I am here to show you that I care about you. I am not here to mock you, yes, or to laugh at you. But I'm here to tell you how much I care about you. I know you're good at putting up fronts, but you cannot fool me. We are matured. You cannot fool me. I know you're hot and deep inside. Eh? I know you're not, you're not spinning yourself all this while. So allow me. Allow me to, to take care of you. Oh, Nemo. He sounded just like a man in love. Gods of our land. How can that even be possible? For the song I sing, it came from my heart. What flesh and blood. My goodness. How did this happen? Oh, is a miracle See, his house healed so fast. Just look at me. If you want, I will, I will even do press up. Yeah, I have seen enough. Don't press up at all. <laughs> Can anybody believe I was ever ill? Not at all. Not at all. What is that, man? We need people like Ilu Erika and that place of Ubankwa in this place. I don't think I understand what you mean by that. 
escutando. É, fui no meu. Mas meu Deus, eu Do you have a fresh pound of wine in this? Because now. Whoa! <laughs> See who I'm seeing today again. <laughs> Remove that smack off your face. Well, I am not um, absolutely responsible for what is happening to my face right now. Where is Onye Kenne? She's at home. Oh. I now understand why she's making that delicious and special dish. Goodbye. Hey. Listen to me. I want to warn you. If you hurt my sister, if you dare hurt my sister, I'll kill you. And I don't mean coming to your house to beat you up. I mean I will expel you from the surface of this earth. I swear. I love her. And I do. Now, can you remove your hands off me? Just keep my warning at the back of your mind. I don't need them. You know, I, I don't really believe I'm saying this. I mean, I thank the gods that the former marriage did not work anyway. Hello. Ah. Ah. Are we You're here? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. I know you're fine. I, I mean, how are you? <laughs> and I said I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. I, I just finished from the kitchen. Now. Ah. Okay. Mm. Uh, can I help you, Jenny, or something? I have food too. of our land. What kind of pain is this? What sort of sickness is this? How can a human being be experiencing such pain when you're in medicine? The diarrhea has practically soaked the life out of me. What is all this? What is wrong with you? My husband, I look sick. I'm fine. Amaka, I ask again. What is wrong with you? My husband, leave me alone. I said I'm fine. All right. Stupid man. I have to get to Obangwa.
Suffering from sexually transmitted disease. Hey! The diarrhea, the vomiting, the horrible things that come out from her private, the fever. Oh, if only we had had a clue. Hey! Now I have one more. Have you seen what you have cost? Mm. Man, why are you harassing me? Why would I harass you? Huh? Are you trying to tell me that you are not aware that your daughter has always led a wayward lifestyle? Where do you think that all those expensive gifts that she gives you all the time came from? Where do you think that she normally pass her night each time that she doesn't come home? Have you seen it? When I try to discipline this girl, you will pick at me like a mother hen that, that just hatched. Have you seen where all this is leading to? You try to cover her excesses all the time. Now it is your body and you bear it alone. I will suggest you take her to Obubankwa. Obubankwa. Never! Nobody from my house will step foot in that ghost forsaken area called Obubankwa. No. I will slap off your tongue if you don't keep your mouth shut. Nobody from my house will go to that ghost forsaken place called Obubankwa. Video. No. Please, talk to him. I don't want to lose my daughter. Please. I don't want to lose my daughter. Let nobody provoke me further. Uh -uh. Let me tell you. If you don't take her to Obubangwa, she will die. A wolf in America is the only person who can combine herbs that will cure this disease. I know you abhor the place, but as the situation is now, you don't have any option. Remember she's your only daughter. It is either you take her there or you risk the chance of her becoming shirtless. So the choice is yours. that I will find a way to get my father off our back. Beautiful. You're very good. Look at that. This is what I call good news. <laughs> at this very moment, my father thinks I'm at my friend's place, Ijemma's house, learning how to make pizza. <laughs> I told you to trust. 
just me. I told you now. Odom. Who is Shayana Lando? Let me give me. Yeah. Now that you have shown me that I can trust you, now you come here and show me that you can make me happy. <laughs> I really want to understand this. This thing between you and Obiago, what do I call it? First of all, there is nothing between Obiago and I. Secondly, you don't have to label us. Because we are just friends. Yes. Well, I am talking because the friend to the man that broke your heart has been showing more concern for you lately than any of your friends. He's only been here three times. And have you seen the way he looks at you? I most certainly do not understand what you're talking about. And I am not just talking about these past few days. Then what exactly are you saying? Listen, dear sis. He has always had eyes for you. That is it. Uh, are you saying that? Yes. Even while you were with Egbuche. Now the question is, is there any part of you that is ready to reciprocate these feelings? Uh, Amaka, you're exercising. Are you preparing for a boxing competition? I'm my husband. Good morning. Good morning. I thought you were ill some days ago. I'm fine. It wasn't serious. It wasn't serious. Oh. Okay. Ibofi, Eureka, is indeed sent by the gods. What a miracle. Thanks, the God. you will not leave the house again, stupid man. Do you mean to say that you are okay already? Can't you see for yourself? Our daughter is okay now. What he said, we are free to go home. What exactly do you practice here? Medicine or magic? How can she be made healed in just few hours? Father, you should be happy for me. I'm not asking so many questions. Don't force me to slap you off, this girl. Do you think I am happy with you? Excuse me, please. This is not the place to vent your anger and your frustration. Please. This is a moment where people come to enjoy themselves, relax, be good and get healed. Exactly. Please. Go home with your family. Go home with them. It's all of you to appreciate my effort towards the development of our people. And we're here talking rubbish. Come here, Kaina. Come here, Kaina. Now, for you, a menu of progress. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Is this what you call development? We are destroying our land, not developing it. Each time I look at you, I see a hypocrite. What? You are insulting me because I came here, you know, Rika. Now, let me tell you, you are a typical example of pots. The pot is calling, they get to black. You think I don't know you? I don't know where you go in the dark. I don't know where you go in the bushes everywhere. All your crew can have movements, everything about you. I know. You think I don't know? Come on. Rise above your stupidity. I come over here and enjoy. I'm fascinated. You are sick in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case 
you change your mind. <laughs> I'm here with him. I'll give you a discount. <laughs> I'll give you a discount. <laughs> Long enough to know that I've been forgotten. No. Why would anybody do that? You know, we've all been busy with our personal lives. Exactly. Mm? It's fine. So how are you? Uh, Why does everyone keep asking me that? Everyone? Yes. Each time Obiago comes here... Wait. Did you just hey. say Obiago? Yes. You mean Obiago has been coming here? Yes, I knew it. I knew it. You know what? We have always known that there's this sparkling connection between you and Obiago. Just that we refuse to mention it to you. We have to keep our mouth shut. What are you saying? I was with his best friend. Exactly. Yes. Onikane, have you noticed the way Obiago looks at you? And even the way you respond to him? Myself? Of course. You think we don't notice? Huh. Mm. Look, Onikane, I know you were with his friend and he treated you badly. But my friend, you still need to be happy. Obiago is nothing like his friend. Believe me. Okay? And you know what? What we are trying to say in essence is if there's anything, any part of you that wants to reciprocate what Obiago feels for you, do not hesitate. Please. You need to be happy, my friend. Hey. Here he comes. I think um, we have to we go now. 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 Yes. Now? Yes. I, I hope you're not leaving on, on my account. Oh, no, not at all. No, it's just that I have tons of errands to run, so I have to go now. And I need to be in the market soon. Oh, okay. You can see you, girlfriend. Are you all right? Uh, we need to talk. No, we don't. What? Yes, because I overheard what your friends were telling you. That's why I know exactly what you want to talk about. See, when you can, I want to tell you this. I care about you so much, and I don't want to lose you. I don't even want anything from you. You don't even have to reciprocate if you're not ready. Okay? I don't even care if you get married to me or not. What I want is your happiness. I am your friend. That's why I'm here. So your happiness matters to me. that is next in line next in line yes next in line what do you mean by that next in line next in line of those that the deity of anam will kill what fool uh, please uh, please uh, uh, excuse me What do I do now? 
Should I leave? Go back to my village? No, no. I don't think I can find a woman who will handle me like her. Besides, acting based on the mere words of a drunkard is just stupid. If I don't find a country what to do, I'll return to my village and devise a better plan on how to find her. Mm-hmm. You have indeed made me a happy man. <laughs> if only you will agree for us to do this at Obubankwa. I did be a happy woman uh -huh. instead of doing it here in my house. Begum. <laughs> you know we can't do that now. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's better. Are you not happy? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're back. Are you alright? I had a very terrible dream about you. Eh? Dream? What? Tell me about the dream. Why am I even scared like this? It's just a dream. It could mean nothing. I'm sorry to have bothered you, my sweet husband. all that to you yes you know I can't just believe this I've never seen a man so perfect same here oh. seriously I mean it is practically unbelievable see only can forget whatever um, Obiago has said the truth is that Obiago is into you and he's into you for real I concur oh. he yes. is in love with you aha uh -huh. Madiche, who have seen Madiche recently? Really? <laughs> Change of subjects. That's Betty, my girlfriend. Uh, no, she just crossed my mind. Is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> You're just trying to deviate from this particular topic right now. Hmm? But then, it's been longer I actually saw Mao. Same here. I wonder what she's up to. Well, the last time I saw her, she said something about her grandmother being sick. Oh, oh that, that means she's with her then. That explains her absence. If you say Obiago is in love with me, that can only mean one thing. Back to the main topic. It could only mean that while I was with Ebuche, it was killing him inside. But he only stood by and watched. I am telling you, it's either you make an arrangement in you know, a or we are done with this. Hey. Uh, my pants and dollars. Eh? Why are you always sounding so afraid? Ah, are you serious? My husband almost caught us. You should be afraid. Afraid of who? Your husband? Oh, so if I come out now, your husband will come out and challenge me in a battle? Is that what you're saying? Maybe or maybe not. I really don't care. All I am saying is this. If you still want me, prepare your mind for Bangba. From what I have gathered, Ubefi Lerika has perfected on how to handle the business of confidentiality. We should help ourselves. <laughs> Ego. My pants and dollars.
All right. Someone has to make her to drink this. What? <coughs> this cough looks like it's contagious. And I don't want to go down with cough. My dear, there's nothing contagious about her sickness. It is just a mind of you, so you have nothing to worry about. I still cannot believe that he did that. Mm. Mm. This is really nice. I can't believe you made this. Oh, yes, I did. Cooking is my talent. Mm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I can't believe you're even eating this rubbish. Uh, I can't believe it. See, I, I was only thinking you weren't going to touch it. I mean, how would a full grown up man, a full grown up man, take his time and process a uh, noodle uh, uh, soup? What are you trying to say, in essence, that you cannot cook? No, just see, my dear. See, see, let me tell you. Why will a man cook? Mm. Yes. Why? <laughs> uh, uh, look, my dear. It, it, it is not our culture. It is not in this part of the world that a man should cook. Abia. No, it, it is not. A man should, you know, be allowed to do what men do. And women should be allowed to exhibit their talents. Eh? I mean, it, it's, it's shameful for a man to sit down, a full grown up man, to sit down and say that his talent as a man is, is, is to sit down, you know, process and cook onubu soup. <clears throat> no, now. Obiago. You see, for this one, eh? You fold my hand. Listen, it's very bad. Very delicious on the for that matter. Hmm? Listen, as my husband to be, you should be the one doing this. What are you saying? Um, see, when we get married, hmm, I will make sure that I will not fail to provide the things uh, uh, as a husband. Including this one. Including it. You see, see, my friend, just admit it that you don't know anything on how to make a woman happy. Look at that mature girl for saying this. Oh, don't worry about the war on. Oh, oh. Mama, oh. hey, mama, mama, please, please, please. Enough of the delegation, please. Someone is still eating. Thank you very much. You're enjoying it, eh? <laughs> go, go. I think it's not even smelling nice. You're even you trying to put your mouth there. I, 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 I have to put my mouth there, there. I'm not even looking at the food because it doesn't have good odor. <laughs> Maybe are you enjoying it? Very well. I can't even it? look at the food. I'm surprised you eat it. Indeed, he has been staring me in the face all this while. See, I want to tell you this. I care about you so much and I don't want to lose you. I don't even want anything from you. You don't even have to reciprocate if you're not ready. Okay? I don't even care if you get married to me or not. What I want is your happiness. I am your friend, that's why I'm here. So your happiness matters to me. Oh my goodness. He loves me. Listen dear sis, he has always had eyes for you. That is it. Onikane, have you noticed the way Obiago looks at you? And even the way you respond to him? Myself? Of course. You think we don't notice? Huh. Mm. Look, Onikane, I know you were with his friend and he treated you badly. But my friend, you still need to be happy. Obiago is nothing like his friend. Believe me. Okay? And you know what? What we are trying to say in essence is if there's anything, any part of you that wants to reciprocate what Obiago feels for you, do not hesitate. Please. 
You need to be happy, my friend. How could I not have known? How? Kanchawa, you've been like this for days now. Can't you stop? Eh? Karam, I cannot stop. No, tell me why I should stop. I don't want to get married to a deity. I'm becoming a wife to countless number of men. That is not what I want for myself. Can't you see? Why is this happening to me? Why me? I believe I can still get a good man. Not like this. I can't tell why. You once told me about a good man you met at Umezora, right? Yes. Boy, he forgot about me. Yes, I thought he was a nice person. And I believed him. I gave myself to him and at the end of the day, he forgot about me. What about him? Now that you're in their need of a man to fill this gap, locating him to his village won't be a bad idea, my dear. Mm. You never can tell, my dear. Everything could change if he sets his eyes on you again. I'm so sorry. I've been so blind. I should have seen it all along. Please, do not make it appear as if you've done anything wrong. Okay? A woman is a treasure. And she remains a treasure till she dies. No one should blame a woman. I know I might not be able to reciprocate this the way you want. But trust me. I want to give it a try. I do. Are you sure? Yes. Play with my heart for the song I sing. Who's that? I don't know. So you are finally here. <laughs> Abu Bangwa is where it is happening. <laughs> come, come, my friend. Your place is well arranged. You will enjoy yourself, I know. You are welcome. Come. Let me take you to your room. I told you that this is where it's happening. <laughs> <clears throat> this is your room. Go in and enjoy yourself. See, Ego Ibo is coming to meet me here. Eh? I understand you handle issue like this carefully. Uh, be confidential about it. You eh? can't trust Siti Ibo if you eh? Erika. <laughs> Go in and enjoy yourself. How did you manage to convince that man to come here? It's not like he ever really had a choice. For you to have done that, convince that man to come here, you are indeed a strong woman. Please, where is he? Please, let me know it. I'm telling you the truth. I'm so sorry. 
You know, something funny happened the first time I came to your village. I met this drunk. He was drunk, very drunk, really drunk. And he asked me, why was I in search of a young woman who is next in line to be killed by the deity of Anam? <laughs> was he in a trance or something? No, like I said, he was drunk. Really drunk. Like you said, my love, he was drunk. Do not listen to whatever that drunk said to you. I mean, I do not have any business with any deity whatsoever. I don't. You don't? Believe me. Well, it's okay. So, uh, when will I be coming to see your parents? Hmm? My parents? Yes, your parents. Very soon. Very soon. Are you not alright with it? Of course I am. I mean, that would be very nice. I can't wait. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too, eh, Buchi? I mean, I am sure you know you've consumed my whole body. I am nothing without you. So why don't we go inside? So I'll show you what it takes to be consumed mm -hmm. by me. <laughs> Oh, if you say something now, please. I I just don't know what to say. I have given him everything I have. I've even combined the herbs that I learned. I I think something is wrong somewhere. Hey! Please find something. Aren't you the best at what you do? Find something, Biko, please! You have to take him home. Mm. Eh? Let me find a solution. Hey! Utendo, is this not why I have been resisting you? Eh? I knew you were cheating on me. But if it turns out that this is an incurable sexually transmitted disease, I will leave you. I will finally leave you. You know what, Obiago? You can actually judge a man who will do big things. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by that. What's, which one is big things and small things? You're trying to tell me that you love my sister very much. Hmm? Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh Is this about me? Who are you referring to? I have not said anything. It's just that he comes here every time to present you with gifts of meat and he has never for one day given me anything. Obi Agu, is it that you don't believe that I am the one that raised her? Ekuni Fesi, you don't really have to hold that against me, okay? You're one of the comfortable young men in this land, so I think you don't need anything. But really? now that you've mentioned it, I am going to make it up to you. Really? Ekuni Fesi, Ekuni Fesi, okay. Ekuni Fesi, you have to come and help me. Hey! Hey, What is it? Your uncle. Your uncle is terribly sick. And I will feel I cannot cure him. What? You have to come and help me. You have to follow me. Let's go. Let's go. Please, I am very sorry. I am very sorry for everything. Oh, uh, I did not mean to hurt you. Uh, I did not mean to hurt you. If if I do not survive this, please. Uh, if I do not survive this, is today not your lucky day? Huh? No, I'm not sure. <coughs> um, you, go here. Go there, place your hand on his chest. Uh, go there, place your hand on his chest. 
And you, go over there, place your hand on top of his. to see your people. I can't wait. <laughs> really? Yes. So go back, get your things together because you'll be relocating from your father's compound to my compound <laughs> as my wife. Be, mm -hmm. I'll be the happiest woman on eight. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, um, see me off. All right. Oba <clears throat> golo golo. Osa I sure my be. I see in the man. Great one. Greetings, great one. Greetings, my dear. Attend to your visitor. I am not in a hurry. I, I was about seeing her off. All right then. I will wait. Don't worry, you pin. I'll be fine. You just have to find out why he came to see you. Are you sure? I am sure. I will be fine. Okay, just be safe for me. I will be. Please. Okay. Be safe, huh? Great one. Your late father paid me a visit last night. Why are you trying to connect to a family that offended the gods of Anam? Excuse me. That is the message. Your only father wants to know why you are trying to connect to a family that offended the gods of Umwezana. No. What family? Great one. Are you saying you do not know a certain family that offended the gods of Umezanam? Uh, no, I don't know. Well then, there is certainly a family like that. And you are unknowingly trying to connect to them. Go back and think. Give yourself time to recollect and you will eventually find out which family it is. Emengwangwa, Emeharodashi. I am done here. Oba golo golo, osa wa. Ashu ema beni. Look, I don't even know you. And I don't know why you're asking me those strange questions about him. I am coming all the way from Akei to Umunsenam in search of a man who will solve my family's problems. Not oh. to answer your questions, please. Oh, I'm sorry. My goodness. I couldn't be. No, 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 no. God, no. I can't stop. No, no. Hmm. What kind of a thing is this? Huh? What do we call this? Huh? Okay, chemist. Hmm? What did you find out? Huh? He said she just collapsed a moment ago. Yes, that is why I called you. Take her to Bukbankwa. What? 
Why? Your daughter is suffering from chronic sexually transmitted disease. Uh, that is impossible. Yes, I know my daughter too well. If you don't want your daughter to die, take her there. Thank you. <clears throat> to be sincere, I actually don't have cure for what your daughter suffers. I tried uh, everything possible. I tried curing such uh, sickness before, but I failed woefully. What? Ichi Otondo was here with the same type of sickness, and I couldn't cure him. But if he was dead by now, I would have known. I suggest you go and check on him, see how he's managing his. Otondo? Yes. Check on him, see how he's managing his, but he might kill you. Hey, hey. Are you happy? Hey. I am happy. Uh, don't worry. You see, I will make you better. Hey. <laughs> there is a road there. We will follow there. Nobody will see us. There's <laughs> <laughs> another thing I want you to uh, Okay. We'll be changing rooms. <laughs> That's why I like it. <laughs> you know, this place is a very beautiful place. <laughs> Just you go after him. But he will probably kill you. <laughs> Your daughter is sick, are you aware? What? I'm finished. <laughs> Give me. Sexually transmitted disease. Ha! How possible? How can I possibly have sexually transmitted disease when the only one I sleep with is my wife? They, 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 the male mistook it for sexually transmitted disease because of how severe it was. Even the, the, even the herbalist later came to apologize to me, telling me it was a mistake. And well, let me tell you, if it turns out to be true, then you should be your own, uh, own responsible. So how did you cure it? It's very, very simple. Just make sure she, she drinks enough water. Fill her belly with enough water so that she will, she will relate very well during the night. By money, she'll be fine. Huh? Hey, you know? Just like that. Just like that. In fact, I'm on my way. Let me go and do it. Sexually transmitted disease. Yeah, I'm not as an Do you know you're a very wicked man? How could you? What, what is wrong with you? Listen, if you do not go to a nurse house now and tell her that her friend is sick, I am going to run after Ezodo and tell him what a wicked friend you are. Selfish man. Your friend, Madiche, is seriously ill. Mama, I don't want. Drink. Mama, I don't want to drink. <laughs> Mama, Papa, hey, please forgive me. Why? Working at oh, Abu Banqua. Hey! What? Oh, see? Hey, I've stayed. 
slept with countless men, including including Ichi Otondo. Otondo. What did you say? What did you not say? The reason I'm sick. Hey! Hey! I don't want to die. This is too much. Me, help me, please. Help me, please. I don't want to die, you. Please. What is happening? What are you doing? DJ. My children, thank you very much and may the gods bless you. And may the gods reward you. Um, we have to be on our way now. Hey. Just like that. Mbanon. Eh? Stay. I made a very delicious olumbu soup this morning. My so that you people can eat. Um, we would have loved to. But maybe some other time. Obiago here has to return to Umuizyora. And it's getting late already. So we have to go. Yes. Madichi. May the gods guide you. Say. Say. Madichi. You should have told me the whole story. I think we should keep that to ourselves for now. No, please. Biko. Biko, Biko Giri. It's either you choose to go and sleep with that your useless daughter or you find somewhere else to sleep. No, please forgive me, Marum Biko. So you are now asking for forgiveness. So when you were doing it, you don't know. Leave me and get out of my house. It's your fear. You are a pig. That is what you are. No sense. Ezudo, please forgive me. Ezudo, hi. I finished. Hi. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. Before you pull out, I come here with it. Utando, Utando, do you know you are a despicable human being? And today marks the end of our friendship. What is the meaning of what? What is the meaning of what? I'm telling you, what is the meaning of what? So, of all the women in this kingdom, why my daughter? I'm What? What? I'm I'm a man. I'm a man. Let me tell you. This should be in your voice. The what? Let me tell you. I want you to have this at the back of your mind that there is no greater enemy than a previous friend. Starting from this moment, my eyes are on you. The day you will go close to my daughter again will be your last day on the earth. No sense. I'm not here. Hey, Zofia. Hey, you. Okay, be. No sense. Uh, why? Why your husband? Because the day I will see him again, I will kill him. Hey, where? How? Utando. You disgust me. You in the dinner again. Thank you. Shameless man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you. Stop. 
Excuse me? Who are you? You, yeah. don't, you don't recognize me? If I did, why would I be asking for your identity? The first time I came to this village and I met you, you told me I was looking for a young woman who is next in line of those the deity of Anam will kill. What business do I have with the deity of Anam? I should be asking you that. Now you listen to me, young man. I don't know who you are or why you're accusing me of saying all these things. But I'm going to walk out of here. And if you try to stop me, you will regret it. Now excuse me. I think that told me that. This was, this was the guy that too. Onye kane and Obiago. Who could have seen that coming? If I don't do something very fast, people will find reason to burn down Never. I can't let it happen. They want to take over my healing business. No. No. Uboy Filerika. You have to do something. You have to do something. And fast. Nottingham Forest, Norwich, 38, 49, 33, 20. Oh, okay, no, whatever. Oh, My husband, I'm off to the market. Mm -hmm. no, I'll be back before you night. That's all. Return to her previous business, right? You allowed her to visit Obubang again. Is it not it? Why are you accusing me? Do I look stupid to you? How would I let my daughter return to that business after what she went through? <laughs> the last time she was ill. Uh, oh, eh? you are trying to let me know that your greed for money has come to an end. Eh? Why won't I be greedy for money? When you are the most useless man any woman can marry. You are a cursed person to women. You are an abomination to women, whatever they are. And you are abomination to men. I'm of you. Now for me, a dear for me. I'm bam. You have actually enjoyed me more than my husband. Let's leave him alone and... Why, why must I leave the fool? How can a man have a woman that is so beautiful as you and is not enjoying you? Eh? Endowed with all this... Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> That chief has become a, he's a useless man, a fool. See, I just want to, you know, witness. You, who derives pleasure in seeing the nakedness of a man that is not your husband. And you, who likes to see the nakedness of a woman that is not your wife. The time has come for you to be rewarded. Two rams cannot drink from the same pot at the same time. They will definitely lock on. Hey, 
of what just happened. A man and a woman ran mad in your facility. Hey, our people will just start saying that the gods have risen against you. Ichi Azoka, this has nothing to do with the gods. Oh. I know who I am up against. Really? <laughs> who? Obiago. And Oye Kanne, they are coming together has triggered the emergence of a forgotten power. They are now planning to destroy Obobangwa. But I cannot let it happen. It cannot happen. You, you, you are confusing me. Eh? Are you talking about Obiago and Oye Kanne that I know? You used to know them. Not anymore. They have destroyed my powers of healing right in the realm of the spirit. You can see? That's why nothing is working anymore. Nothing is working anymore for me. But trust me, trust me, I am going to cut them down. I will cut them down. We will cut them down. away from him, you lying manipulative spirit. When were you going to tell me your business with the deity of Anam? When I've gotten married to you? <laughs> my, my love, I don't know what you're talking about. You need to stop lying to me. Stop lying to me, my love. I know everything I need to know about you because I have been coming to Adi for the past days now. I've been asking questions and I know everything, everything I need to know about you and your entire family. Obi, I, I can explain. It's not really what you think. It's... You said this marriage is over. Yeah. This marriage is over. Letting you into my life was the biggest mistake I've ever made. Obi. Come to think that I had to cancel my marriage because of you. I am sorry. Obi, please, you cannot cancel our marriage. Please, I did. It disgusts me. Please let me explain. Get out of my life. Please, no, please. If I ever see you, oh, if I ever see you near my house, I'm going to kill you. Please. And no one is going to call me. No one is going to call me because you don't have a family left. What is happening? Eh? What is happening? <laughs> Please tell us. What is happening? What is happening? She's gone. Ah, I see I see God. God, 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 baby. Hey, 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 I am surprised at Ebuche. He had the opportunity to make you his wife. But he chickened out at the end of the whole thing. Now he's going about telling people that I stabbed him in the back. And you are giving that a thought? 
Obiago, we should try to face our lives with positive mindsets. To me, Obuche is history and must never be discussed. Yes. Both of you are wild animals. And I am going to handle you like beasts today. What do you want from us? Your head. Two of you does not deserve to live. Hello? So, you two now have a chance to resist me? You now have a chance to resist me? Okay. Why does he want us dead? What does he really want? Genuine love is starting with us. And forces are rising to destroy us. I love you. I love you with everything in me. I love you too. Years old. Go and bring back your wife. Excuse me. What did I hear you just say? It's years old. Nothing on earth justifies her action. But then, you and I know that your marriage died a long time ago. It does not excuse her behaviors in the least. She has learned her lesson. Eight years old. Bring back your wife. Treat her like a woman you've always loved. Madiche! Papa! The gods have given you a second chance. Make good use of it. Next time you contact anything, Onyekane will not be able to save you. Papa. Papa, please forgive us. Please, Papa. I am sorry. Forgive my mother and I. Please. My sister has finally agreed. Eh? And as the only uncle we have, eh? I thought it wise to come and inform you. <laughs> this is good. Very good. <laughs> eh? Um, My son, have you spoken with your people? Not yet, sir. Okay, it's okay. Uh, whenever you people fix a date to come, let us know. I will be ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, you are welcome to the family. <laughs> uh, you, uh, your sister has finally agreed to marry the man of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Uncle, I must confess. Uncle, seriously, I cannot express how happy I am. Good. I'm very happy. <laughs> Unako, go back to your husband. He doesn't deserve you in the least. That is why you are a blessing to him. <laughs> the gods have given him a second chance. He is regretting everything. I love my husband very much. Everything we did was a mistake. It's over now. I don't want to okay, go. Okay, okay. hey, my pants and dollars. Eh? Now that you are back to your father's house here in Umezora, it will be easy for me to come and marry you. Eh? You know you are my happiness. Eh? I said I am done with you. Go back to your wife. 
If my husband doesn't come back for me, I will stay back in my father's house and live out my days in regret. I don't want to ever see you around me again. Wait, don't always say, go back to your wife. My wife is a hypertension herself. She's a very useless woman. Eh? That's why I'm always coming to then you. Then you are a husband to a very useless woman. Go back to that useless woman of yours. Leave me alone. Egon, my pants and dollars. Ego. Ego. Hey. What will I do? My legs not moving again. Eh? They are not moving because you are paralyzed. Eh? You are probably going to stay like this for the rest of your miserable life. I am going back to my father's house. If you can, you may crawl inside the house and you will discover that I have packed all my things. You are just useless. I am going back to my father's house. She'll be able to find a place in her heart to forgive me. What have I done? What was I even thinking? made up my mind to marry you to me, Willie. Really. I do not want to die. If only we humans will have it at the back of our hearts that someday our children may pay for our sins. It will guide us. It will guide us in all our activities. Come, come my child, for the first time, let me take you to the Miwele. Come. 
Under normal circumstances, I should be the one insisting on an elaborate marriage. But trust me, I do not want that. I don't. And that is where I have a problem. You're going to become my wife. I will make you my wife. And you will remain the only woman in my life. I am going to give you a big marriage. So I don't know why you are asking for a low-key ceremony. Listen to me, Obi. I had a terrible dream last night. And I had this feeling that some wicked people would attempt to get to us. Or have you suddenly forgotten what that evil Obuefi Iredika did the last time? Oh, come on. Forget that man. That man is too basic to become our problem. I agree with you on that. But you have to trust me on this one. We have a mission, remember? We have to guide that mission of ours. We have to. Listen, I want a normal marriage ceremony where you will be my husband and I will be your wife. Those that are surrounded by enemies should learn how to defend themselves. Please. Please. Do you understand the implication of what she just said? She is aware that there are enemies around. And by compelling him to accept a low-key marriage ceremony, she is already defending him from the destruction of the plan. <laughs> it's Yazoka. Listen, I am going to prove to them right here and now that they are defenseless. Even the low-key marriage they planned is not going to hold. It will not hold. Obiago, you are separated forever. Thing. Or does it mean that you do not understand everything I've been saying all along? Or don't you trust me? What do you want me to say? You're already my wife. So, anything you say, I'm good with it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you are to present seven cows. And seven goals to appease Odumuwele for the crime of sleeping with his wife. What? Do you know how much all these items you've called cost? Where do I have that money? How? You see? The truth is that while you were sleeping with that young woman, <laughs> Odumuwele was boiling because he has already started seeing her as his wife now that she is the wife you must pay for all that you enjoyed how am i supposed to know how am i supposed to know that that she's married to a deity how as if you would have spared her if you knew Ebushe, you are a useless man of this land it is high that you do that you will become Uru Alose of Odmuwele. Which means that you will become the in-house husband that is sleeping with the wife. And any child you bear belongs to Odmuwele. No, 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 no. That, that, that is to say that my father's lineage has been closed up. If you had followed that line of thought, you would have married long before now. But you wouldn't have cancelled the marriage to that noble young woman the gods gave you. 
you brought this problem to yourself. The earlier you made your choice, the better for you. Okotanburu. Nay, please, Nay, I am begging you. Nay, uh, literally, I've gone to everyone, everyone that I know, and they have turned me down. Nay, I'm begging you, please, if I don't do the sacrifices, I am in trouble. Then, be in trouble. Huh? You brought it upon yourself. Go and be Uru Harasi. Be slave to a uh, deity of Anam. Please. Leave this compound now. Or do you want to know what I will do? Nah, nah, I'm begging you. Nah, you couldn't. Please, I'm begging you. Nah, you couldn't. Come over here again. See what I will do to you. You want to be a slave? My wife and I will assist you with one cow and that is what you can afford but if that is the case then i'm finished i'm finished just one cow you know, one cow is a f is a far cry for one cow Walker was a far cry from what I was asked to bring. I don't understand. Does it mean that you do not have savings? At least there is something you should be able to do to solve your problem. You can I don't have. I don't have anything. I've lost everything. I caused the day, I caused the very, very first day I set my eyes on, on a country one. I've lost everything. You know, I've even ended my family's lineage. All because of her. I've lost everything. I'm finished. Thank you. Okay, I will. Thank you very much. I am back. 